Wait. Yeah, wait. Uh, part, yeah. I, I wait. just got back. What happened? We're, oh, we're, we're, we're streaming right now, but we're going to tweet out that we're streaming okay. because that's what you do in modern day media. Oh, yo, you do. I mean, like, what if I turned them into dolls? <laughs> that what if, what, what if you return to I'm them? like, I just, oh my god. Onyx. Onyx pack. Couples return to the adventure dog zone. What if I like turn to the dogs? <laughs> I mean, I, I just imagine. Removing, I just, I just, removing. I, I just imagine Griffin McElroy saying the dog zone, and it just makes me happy, and I don't know why. I just removing the drugs thing. That kind of is how it happened. Just like, what if I just turn them all into dogs? Yay. Well then. And they said that they said that D D in the seventies doesn't do stupid shit to you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> what are you saying you're a devil worshipper? <laughs> oh. oh hey. Oh. I'm like find alright. I'm, I'm trying to find a good dog gif one right now. Hold on. Are you are you streaming? Are of we, course we're streaming. Are, are we live? Yeah, oh we okay. <laughs> Oh, everyone's here. Hey, right, well, you could do that. I'm gonna go put this cheesy bread in the fridge. Look at all these, look at all these dog gifts. I just can't pick a good dog. Oh, that's yeah. good. All right, this pug being scratched I'll by mom. Pizza. This, this, pug, this pug in a bow tie being scratched by like four scratchers is exactly the right gift. He's that's just, perfect. He's just a seventh heaven right now, is what he is. Ooh, Johnsy, with the freaking 1500. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Get in, get in the zone. Dog oh, zone. God. Can I just say really quick? There was a gigantic bit war between Probate and this um, LR, uh, LR Morm guy. And it, it escalated pretty heavily. It was really scary. I had a robot fight with someone in one of, in that, uh, that Art Jack's stream. Mm -hmm. So it's fun. It's actually really fun <laughs> just to fill up the <laughs> cup. I can only get like $5 at a time, but. It's King cool. Grant, King Grant J with the hundred, with the, excuse me, thousand bits. Thank you so much, King Grant J. Yeah, I just, I'm just doing some setup stuff here real fast, guys. If you guys can just talk amongst yourselves real fast while we're setting this all up. I think Zito. Yeah. Zito. Oh, 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 Gaijin, did you see the thing I sent you the other night? I found it before I went to bed, and it was really cute. I thought I, I found a really. You, you sent me a very long video. Oh, about Canada. Okay. It was the Japanese uh, Tourism Canada ad, and it was I've, really cute. I've been to some of those places. It was really cool. No, I'll say this. You know what's another really good thing for, for, for Japanese culture and Canada, Canadian culture? The Canadian what? episode of Metabots. I think it's a oh very... It is a very important... It's very important that people watch the Canadian episode of Metabots because the Canadian. What's the difference? What's the difference between American and Canadian? No, it was a, literally an episode where a Canadian a meta fighter shows up in Japan. And, oh, that, that, yeah. And he has the power, and, and he had the power of snow, and there was like snowing outside, and everyone was cold, and he just was laughing off, eating ice cream. He was like, "This is how cold it is in Canada." <laughs> and Icky could barely fucking handle this fucking guy. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, when they had the world tournament, and he, uh, like the Canada's team like placed really high, and there were just three guys, three white dudes who literally were dressed like Eskimos with three of the same exact metabots, and they were nothing but like they're just giant like like woolly mammoths. Were they? Wasn't one of them a snowman? I remember I there was like a I snowman no, one. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't. Oh. Yeah, he was from Yellowknife as well, Nadine. He was from Yellowknife. Oh Knife. my god. He was from Yellowknife. And I'm oh like, god. it's okay, guys. We can find out when uh, when Metabots somehow and magically is coming back to the gaming spectrum. It's. They're actually. I think they're making another Metabots and they're actually bringing it to the United States. How fucking cool is that? I mean, oh those, those games were infamously difficult, though. I don't, dude. I, they, we're, we say? we are out six out of the eight. I'm upset about that. Like Would you say it was the Dark Souls of robot games? Uh -huh. oh. oh boy. <laughs> Excuse me a sec. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And. Draco955, okay, thank good. you for the 1500 bits. Hey, Doc, I hope you are feeling well today and looking forward to the panic that Hedge, hedge Dog rolling around at the speed of dog. You'd be amazed how many dog emotes there are online, and people have somehow found them all. You know, they found them. They, they literally went out of their way. Ah, sub for that one. It's almost like people like dogs. Yeah, I mean, I mean, crazy, right? 
and there have been crazier things. Real fast, I'm gonna go grab a pretty great though. I am gonna go grab a glass of water and then we'll get started because I have a couple pieces of information. And also, I am taking this opportunity to guzzle down my balls orange. What? Oh, oh, can I can I mention the thing that I mentioned earlier before we got started? Mm. The 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 elephant, as it were. Watch the elephant in the room. Okay, so there's been a lot of, not a lot, but there's been some talk about, like, us doing a lot of in-party fighting, uh, and people are now under the impression that we're actively, like, different players are actively, like, attacking and trying to, like, kill each other. That is not the case in the slightest. No. Uh, we want everyone to understand that we are all, we, we all have some acting experience in one shape <clears throat> or form. And everything that we do, we do because we feel appropriate to the characters, appropriate to the story, and to heighten the story. So I just want to go on the record in saying that none of us hate each other. None of us hate each other, like, really in character. It's just we are simply reacting to our surroundings in the way that we perceive our characters to do so. Here, here. Yeah. Ah, some good Green. balls. Some, some good, good balls. Really, it's just or the orangey tang of balls on my tongue is just intoxicating. You slurp them balls, you know. Mm. I'll, I'll do more than that. I'll guzzle them balls. Oh, oh, my God. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, oh, welcome dude. back. I sit down right all to this goddamn madness. I'll tell you right now. All right. All right. All right. I got my I got my water. This, holy thing. Thank you so much, Dark Vulgin. Jesus Christ. All the love and all the love and fucking support for the unexpectables. This is crazy. But this is how this is how we pay. Monty, and this is how we pay Austin. So, guys, all right, I got some good news here. Now, uh, over the weekend, I was a good boy. Okay. okay this, yes. Okay, I was a good boy. <laughs> and I reached out uh, to a person to develop the fur. Uh, they developed for the Unexpectables a layout. So, next week, you will be seeing a new and improved, visually, hopefully, much better Unexpectables with an actual proper layout. There we go. Good boy. We can clap. We can all clap. We can all clap. Yeah, thank you. Please clap. No, why are you clapping? We snap our fingers here. Yep, sorry. Thank you so much. Armin Hunter for the 1,000 bits. Thank you so much. So, yes, right, guys. 1,000 bits. Jesus, Armin Hunter. I'm hearing a bunch of crickets. Who's this? Who is that? Uh, crickets? Yeah, I'm hearing it too. <laughs> Who is Could it? Could be me. It works. It's part of the atmosphere. No, I, I like want it. you to go out there and stop them. <laughs> hey! Shut it off! Uh, but yeah, Fucking we have, insects. We have, a, we have a new layout coming for the Unexpectables, so next week it'll look much nicer and more, I would argue, even professional-ish. Ooh. I know. How unexpected. Oh, well, for me especially, guys. So that's pretty much all the information I have. Nadine, are you dying? A little bit. Okay, that's I'm good. okay, that's though. I have my bucket, and I have my Tums, so... You know, Nadine, I'm here. When, when I feel down, I take a big sip of some balls. Thank you. I'm Zeno. shilling the balls tonight. Got some, got some, got some, <laughs> drinking some balls. Some delicious balls. Taste it. Feel the pep of balls inside your tongue today. Mm. <laughs> Sponsor. Now, I, I'd like to intermittently uh, in this in this stream. I think we should every now and then just flick open to make sure our recording software is recording. I have it behind mm. a window so I can see that it's going at all times. Okay, just want to make sure. That's I not, that, is not, that is not a shot because shit sometimes just stops fucking working. Baylor Born, thank you for the five. What? Oh. Thank you for the one thousand bits. Crimson Odin with the five thousand bits. Shut up and take my bits. Also, love what you guys do and keep up the great work. Thank you, Crimson oh Odin. Oh my. Cakes. Oh my I, god. I, I, lo I love that people are saying like Zito, you're such a sellout. I mean, I would sell out for balls. It's a good soda. So yeah, that's the thing that people got to understand. When we do brand integrations and we actually <laughs> love the brand, we feel no shame. I love me my balls. I'd like to talk real fast to you guys about Pornhub. Pornhub.com <laughs> is a pretty great service that really, it really, I, I feel like I'm the kind of guy who uses it daily. Now, oh I know what you're God. thinking. There's many different options uh, to suit your particular taste of the day. Options such, okay. <laughs> We can play the game now. I mean, okay, I, I guess let's we, I, go. Okay. Let's let's customer. go. 
All right, I had to close Twitch. Uh, <laughs> all right. Falls website you were going to buy drinks from. I w you know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Does Ball support Pornhub? I can't help but feel that that would be a pretty good crossover. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well, adventure now. <laughs> when last we left our heroes, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Panic the Tiefling Bard, and Task the Cobalt Ranger, the party was tasked to clear out giant spiders in the northwestern regions of the nocturnal Timberlands. Traveling, the party slew an arrangement of arachnid horrors, from large spiders to giant spiders to Ettercat monsters breeding in an underground temple. Pressing on towards the encampment of the deep wood settlement, the party followed a herd of giant spiders descending upon a deer. After slaying the spiders, the party harvested the deer that they had killed and found a dog bound and winded in a cocoon of spider silk. After freeing the dog, the party tried to def uh, that, 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 English. The party tried to befriend it and decided to follow it as it ran off towards the deep wood settlement settlement after following the dog the party decided to make camp after someone not going to say any any names uh fell asleep on their watch the party woke up and found themselves transformed into dogs with their equipment fused to their new dogish forms and their magical weapons useless the party followed emmet the dog that they had saved who was once a man into the deep wood settlement the party found the logging camp's occupants turned into dogs as well seeking answers the party found the source of the dog zone a pug named Pug. Mm. Speaking to Pug, the party challenged a strange magical dog to a competition. Pug agreed <clears throat> and challenged the party to the trial of dog. After passing the first trial, the trial of the loud wind elemental, the party now stands in the mouth of the cave of dog. Real fast, Nadine, could you get closer to your microphone? I, I'm really, I just like right next to no, you. Okay. No, it, 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 it sounded great like you were in a giant bowling alley. Was it? Yeah. Oh. It wasn't okay. that. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't I know, okay. I know I know it wasn't that. I'm just giving you a crap. But yeah. Oh, well, my brother's yeah. being melodramatic. What a surprise. Oh, you no. Know, this, you know this, this is me today. And you know this what? Today. <laughs> Someone on the team would have been awake if they just had a sip of balls. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're at the front of the can, can Borky roll to claim this is his territory? Uh, that would yeah, be Yeah, do a piss roll, dude. <laughs> I'm surprised Maybe. it's taken this long. I'm surprised it's taken this long. <laughs> You relieve yourself on the side of the cave, I I'd assume. I'd like to roll. I like to roll a deck save for that. I don't know. If... Uh, roll actually roll an intimidation check oh, for marking your territory. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, there you go. Infuse your piss with <laughs> anger. Eleven. <laughs> All right, it's pretty scary. Dogs will maybe back off. Oh shit! No <clears> way. I want to. I want to piss on his spot. Oh, no. This you is, you right, didn't drink fine. enough water this morning. I'm going I inside guess. the Incoming cave. Balls joke. Incoming balls joke. Incoming balls joke. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I suppose right. I will so as legit, well. legit, legit question. Can we see into the cave? Uh, it's pitch darkness. It is just pure darkness. Can, okay, so we have the bag of holding that has all of our shit in it, right? Yeah, but you guys don't have hands. Okay, can we, we like... Le we, left it, we left the bag of holding with the uh, family. Oh, no. No, it's, we, no, it's, on, it's, on, it's on Borky's back. Yeah, Borky has it tied to him. You oh, guys okay. Are sure. and, there's a, we, and I have a lantern of revealing in there. We also Ooh. have we also have two mage hands to work with. That and do we still get to keep our dark vision? Yeah, we're dogs. you guys' abilities all say the same. You just don't have hands and your hey, dogs. Hey, guess what, guys? Guess who can't see because they can't use the goggles? Is it, is it you? Is it, it was the, it's me. You know who, it was the you know, lantern. You, you know who couldn't see? Uh, Panic Grimtongue when he fell asleep. <laughs> That's true. It's awfully hard to see through through my eyelids. <laughs> so okay, so um, so you can fight you, narcolepsy we, with a sip of balls. Okay, can so, we actually can we actually manipulate the bag between the two mage hands of Panic and myself? I'm gonna say for that's pretty complicated. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna say probably not. I mean, you can't really use much of anything. You can use the ma the mage hands to like manipulate things, but there's some limitations as to what you can do. Like you can't really wield a weapon with the mage hand. But you can well, like we, poke things and the, open doors the, the, and like things. The lantern, like Borky, could put it in his mouth and walk around with a thing in his mouth so he yeah. wouldn't talk. I mean, wouldn't we want that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. If we can, if we can, if we can make that happen. I forgot the command. I think it's this. Do you guys see where you are on the map? Nope. Uh, no. It is very dark. Uh, scroll all the way to the right. Kind of in the middle on the right there. Wow. I oh, see there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ah, wow, I have to see. scroll up heavily. Jeez. Oh, please do not put me in front. I will be in the back. 
I will be right there can, if can, you mind. Can, what would we yeah, if we again. If, if we wanted to try and get this the thing of revealing? Like, is it is it a bright lantern? Uh, the lantern of revealing. I love having a separate monitor. I just thought it made invisible stuff visible, not cast light. Oh. It might actually cast light. I not. I would hope so, being a lantern. By the yeah. way, guys, I just want you all to know this is... Uh, it sheds a bright light mm. uh, in a 30-foot radius, and it burns for six hours. Oh, damn. We need to get that out of the bag. Can we? I want like to. You can with the mage hand. I'll let you do that. Okay. All right, or you can just dig in it as a dog and grab it with your mouth, really. You don't really need to even use the mage hand for that. All right, so who would take initiative on that? Who would not do that? Because Borky would. Borky's a silly goose. Well, I'd say two. Greckles needs it the most since he can't actually see without it. Yeah, but I also need to be able to hide and holding the light source. <clears throat> probably not the Borky best idea. Or he would carry the That's light source. Because he's the okay. big boy. You do also have Solly there as well. Don't forget. Oh, well, Solly but, she, but, but she can't use magic. But no, she, no, can no, she can carry an object. It. Yeah, she can carry the lantern. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll have her do it. Okay. Her mouth. I Solly. want to... Oh, I'm nope. sorry. Yeah, I, re I realize this is the Goonies meets Oliver and Company. It's a very interesting <laughs> song. <laughs> Amazing. Why should I worry? I want to. Okay. I want to roll a stealth check. Okay. I shall as well. That's it's a helping. fairly narrow cave. Um, you are small, which is to your advantage, but it's a fairly narrow cave at the moment. So actually finding places to kind of hide under is proving fairly difficult. All right, and I will roll 23. Okay. You Still blend into the cave wall with your kind of grayish brown fur, so you have a bit of advantage there. Mm -hmm. So you kind of press yourself up like like Kronk in the Emperor's New Groove, like up <laughs> nice. against the wall, just kind of shimmying. In that case, um, I'll go ahead... It I'll I'll go ahead and take point then. So what was the... Um, what, what, by the way, out of character, what was the name of this trial? The, the trial, trial of, dog. of dog. Oh, no, the second one. But that was the, oh, the so cave of dog. The cave of dog. This is the cave of dog. This is part of the trial well, of dog. We, okay, okay, real fast. Before we move, okay, Borky, I guess he can move one, two, three, four. Borky. We're not in combat. We're just navigating. Oh, we're just navigating. We're, so we're slowly wa winding through because we don't forget. We got to, since we're recording an audio version of this, we have to very carefully <clears> say what we're doing. I'm hugging the wall. Yeah, I am too. Borky, 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 Borky's, Borky's, it's... Borky's right in the front because Borky's a, uh, the big boy. Okay. All right. One second. Let me reveal areas. Yeah, yeah. To... Don't keep moving forward until we have a revealed area. Scootal! B B B Borky keeps moving forward. Do you? Solly's catching up. Oh, there's, oh, there's a skeleton. Um, we can roll. Can we? Can I inspect the skeleton and sniff it? Uh, yes. And while that's happening, I'm gonna grab the dice because. What, what do I? What do I do? Just is it an investigation check? Yes. Yeah, roll an investigation check. Do we get, do we get a plus for our pupper Fif noses? 15. That would be for smell-based. Perception, then. Uh, and that would, yeah, be for perception. Uh, you get the sense that it's a very, very old uh, corpse. One sec, I gotta roll something here. This one is you. Okay. Uh, I assume a 10 doesn't hit you, Borky, right? No, you need a 15. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? What? Yeah, oh no, it's alive! The... You feel the wind move slightly in the cave. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, this is... Mm. Solly moves forward, and as she does, she brings up the lantern over the skeleton, and you guys see... Ah! Oh! What? A strange mushroom. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. No, it's a roper! What's a roper? <laughs> Let's not make a game, everyone. I, I'm sorry, but I'm just like, ah. It reaches out for you now, Task. Wait, wait, wait. Do, do we need combat music? I'll get creepy cave music. Actually, that'd be better. I think. Okay. Uh... Okay. So explain to me what's happening right now. Because are we fighting? Is there something up? Giant, with the giant purple mushroom with tendrils. Just the mushroom is slowly reaching out for you guys. Well, don't let it. <laughs> are we not? Do we not? Are we not initiating combat? I lost my dungeon music. Uh oh! Oh no! Oh. Hold on! What Sorry, happened? One Roll twenty. Oh, we okay. I got it. I got it. Sorry, it was that just was loading. that was a very long journey. That was an emotional roller coaster, Nadine. 
<laughs> sorry, sorry. Went through the. Is the music playing? I can't hear it myself. No. No. Oh wait. Wait, hold on. It's I, very I hear, quiet. Play that funky hear, music, white girl. Yeah, I, I got quiet, spooky cave music. Okay, there we go. I got it. There you go. Uh, this mushroom reaches out for you. Uh, task does a thirteen hit you? No, it does not. You just kind of step backwards, and like this kind of like long fungal like tendril just whoosh, kind of waves out for you, and then recedes back into the mushroom's head itself, the mushroom cap. Knowledge check. Yeah, can we do that? Knowledge nature. Be, be sure to call Fuck. your rolls. Six. Six. Uh, ten. Ten for me. Not a clue. Hold on, well, hold I, on. I hope I hope I at least have the common sense to know not to go fucking near it. Nature check. I believe at this point you understand. Two. That. <laughs> Mushrooms <laughs> are delicious. Mushrooms well, are bad Mark, for you. I guess I'll try. Okay. Oh. All there right. You go. Uh, you've heard of these 18. things. You actually have seen them sold in um markets specifically for mages, like um and like not nice mages, like murder mages. Um, no, no, these no, no, are what are known as uh, violet funguses. Oh. They tend to exist in narrow cave paths and ambush people by reaching out with tendrils. Only fun guys buy fun guy. Do, do I know what the murder mages use these for? With that, uh, they tend to use them for uh, violent touch-based spells or oh. in the making of poisons. So touching this thing is a bad idea. Uh, panic barks out. Uh, hey, uh, this thing is actually pretty valuable. If we can harvest it safely, we could... That'd be a fantastic idea if we had the capable appendages to do so. Quick question, is the, is the ten are the tendrils just attached to, like, the head of the skeleton, or is it, like, the whole thing? No, the, the mushroom. It's, it's coming from the mushroom. No, 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 I mean, like, but is the mushroom attached to the skeleton? No. no he's up against it's, the wall. It's right here. Oh, 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 Borky just kind of like walks around it. Okay. It's going to reach out for you again. What? Does a 15 hit you? Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I thought it already missed me. Oh, it's reaching out as you move past. Oh. oh. You, you went into its line of sight. <laughs> I was in its line of sight the whole time, so. You're in its range. You take a five points of necrotic damage. What the fuck? As it okay. brushes against you. Okay, enough of this. I'm gonna katono jutsu the shit out of this thing. Unless anyone wants to stop me. No, go ahead. Oh, and I touched me. Jutsu. Fort, uh, nice. does, does 14 hit? Yes, it definitely does. You suck. Uh, three damage. Nice. The mushroom erupts into flames. The smoke begins to peter back. You watch as the tendrils like lash back into its body and it begins to twist as the cinders kind of burn it to a crisp. There's a nice kind of smell of like Italian food a little bit. Well, it's fair. But oh. is eventually it. Is there anything salvageable or is it just gone? Ash. In fact, you actually burn some of the other mushrooms around it. Oh, there's more. Interesting. As Sully presses forward. It touched my leg. You Ow. see Ow. another mushroom. <laughs> Not for fuck's sake. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it again. Borky okay. Borky dog whistles and just go points. There you go, boy. Get it. <sighs> Katol no jutsu. I guess a nine wouldn't hit, would it? Yep, that hits. It's not moving. And it's a mushroom. Five, it can't do anything. Oh yeah, it's five on damage. Fire. Once again, the mushroom catches fire. All right, I'm not going to play this guessing game anymore. I am rolling a perception check ahead of us okay. with a 17. Nice. Yeah. Peering through the darkness, you notice uh, three mushrooms. You notice one here. Here. And here. All right, I'll point that out to everyone. You notice that they're reaching out towards the sound of your guys' voices. You you guys might not want to walk in there. And let yeah, me just... no. Bor yeah. uh, Borky, you, you, you might want to come back. Ugh, I'm so bored of being a dog. I want this to be over with already. <laughs> really? Right. What a fucking I'm shock. Gonna... Uh, Alright, well, I'm gonna... He may be, D he may be ADD. 
Uh, Nadine, if, if you'll allow me, I'll do three separate attacks for them. Go right ahead. Oh, no, just seven. Hit. <laughs> for two damage. Okay, don't even bother rolling the damage. Trust okay, me. cool. I'll just keep nuking them on the way. Okay. As soon as we turn this corner, though, I do want to jump back in stealth. Oh, I could have actually shattered all of them. What? Yeah, but I can do this forever. Save your spell slots. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. That's true. And then new stealth check with a 17. Nice. Once again, up against the wall. No one can see you. I just imagine a, imagine a dog just on his hind legs rubbing up against the wall. <laughs> Dude, I want I want a picture of a Shiba Inu just like freaking spitting right. fireballs. Solly, do not step ahead of us. I want to peer down there. Uh, okay. She kind of steps back. Uh, another perception check, and away we go with mm. a eleven. Here, let me right. let me do that as well. Does this have a uh, ooh, that's a. Mm, I smell bad. <laughs> <laughs> I smell bad things. Uh... Barky will be doing a perception check as well because he likes. This to be thing involved. has a negative five dexterity. Yeah, you see them both. <laughs> it has a negative. Well, I guess it's just a mushroom. It's just a mushroom, so it makes sense. Can we can we get the turn order off the screen? Yeah, for sure. Sorry. I think there it did that with the update. Okay. <laughs> that was giving me anxiety. I did not realize. It just felt right. great one and disappeared. Point to the other. Point to those two. Nuke them. Alrighty. Do I need to roll? Yeah, yeah go ahead. For oh, fun. Okay. You never know when a natural one might prop up. Haha, <laughs> fun. <laughs> 18. Nice. Damn it. Or you don't have to roll damage. Seven. Ooh, seven nice. damage. And the next and one. The next one is ooh twenty three. Yeah, you just like two, 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 you fire two fireballs in quick succession, uh, and both of the fungals just you hear the kind of high pitched screaming as the hydration in the funguses like begin to sizzle and crack, bitch, until slumping down into ash. Do I notice that they're attracted to sound? Uh, you guys do notice that they seem to be attracted to not only just the sound but also light as well. Mm. Anyone uh, here? Mm. The problem is, is that we don't want to snuff out the light. Borky, guess... you you might want to get behind, buddy. We're trying to take point. But if something reaches out and gets you, and it gets you, then we're doomed. If it's me, I'm tough. I can handle it. Yeah, but I'm sitting here fireballing these things. It's because you're a good boy. I'm gonna roll perception twenty. Okay. You don't see any more. You see, like, red cap mushrooms. You see some, like, kind of really gooey-looking, like, wall mushrooms hanging off. Goo mushrooms. You hear uh, the sound of water t t t splashing in front of you. You don't seem to notice any more of the um, the purple mushrooms. You okay, also so notice that there's not any corpses or bones nearby all right, so, anymore. Uh, well. Greckle, I want Greckles to come up next to me real, quick, real fast. Mm -hmm. uh, I want you to hurl a fireball down as far as you can. All right, I'll see what I can do. And just launch it out. Okay, roll roll an attack. All right. Ten. Okay, you throw it, and it erupts crashing into the wall right here. Up ahead. Okay. Let's get to uh, let's get Sully. Yeah. We should, uh, we, should be Sully. we should be describing the layout of this a bit better. I think. Yeah. It's just it's a, very, a very, it's a very narrow tunnel. I mean, there's not too much to describe. Why, 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 it's a windy tunnel. All right. It's very windy. It's very snaky. Borky, get back here. Borky. All right. You need uh, me? There, there is one more thing. Uh, Greckles, for, just for safety's sake, I want you to set the wall. I want you to set those slimy mushrooms on fire. Easily done. Poof. Twelve. You light them on fire, and they burn for a bit, and then they stop. And the mushrooms, while lo losing a bit of their goo, the mushrooms are fine. They're moist enough that the fire actually doesn't hurt them that badly. Moist. I sense that that might be a theme going forward. Just more moisture? Yeah. Not just more, mo more moisture, but more... If there's more of those living mushroom things, chances are... There's going to be some that have adapted to water as well, so the fire's not going to do us much good. Fair enough. Hmm. Shit. Okay, well, I guess we should just keep pressing yeah. on. Once we turn that corner, let's, like, keep looking forward again. Oh, follows. I need to, I need to, I need to re-stealth. Um, back to character sheet. Uh, 20 stealth. 
wall. You are one with the wall. All right, I'm going to go and peer down here. Okay. Down you see two paths. You're, so you're peering around the corner then, okay. Yeah, peering around the corner, sorry. What do you say? I'll take one I'll take one further step up so I can actually see down the path. Okay. There are two paths in front of us. Yep. One going north, one going west. Oh, Solly okay. walks up with the lantern. All so right, gang. Better, so. Let's split up and look for clues. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Whoa. That's a terrible idea. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, task. Do you well? Do you want to have me mm. peer around the side or go up up north? Uh, let me. I want to roll survival, or is it survival or perception that I can roll to see if I can find out where the source of the water is coming? from? Uh, that would be survival. Let's go survival for that. Alrighty, rolling survival with a 19. Nice. Okay. Uh, you get the sense that the water isn't coming from any sort of, like, underground lake bed. It might be coming from the earth above. Um, it is kind of a swampy, temperate region. Um, you get the sense there's just, like, a lot of moisture in this cave. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna peer to the north with a per- perception check. You and have gonna... a, a dark vision of 100 feet, correct? Yes, 120. Under 20? Okay. Uh, with a perception of 13. Oh, oh there's oh. a chest down there. Oh, Borky's, Borky's tail stands up. There's a, I, from what I can see from here, there's a chest and a broken barrel. Are you telling me there's loot? Loot? How are we getting it out of here? Um, Drag it out. Bag. We have the bag, yes, but... Mm. Uh, just out of character, just out of character, my mage hand can technically take stuff out of pockets and put stuff in pockets. If we find yeah. like coins, I would assume that we could like load it up or something. Yeah, yeah, you totally can. It just can't right. do anything like really crazy, like you know, like right. cat's cradle or something. How, how, how far? That. How far can your mage hand go? Uh, I can't even see. I mean, how far could? How far? You said how? How far was the radius? Thirty. The thirty feet. Yeah, from yeah. the lantern. So all I can, all I can see is this right here. Like, okay, uh, I panic, I need you up front. Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> do you, you have dark vision, right? I do. I do have dark vision. I, I do too. All right, uh, so in front of me, in front of us at the end of this cave, okay. there's a chest and a broken barrel. Mage hand to the chest and see what happens. Okay, all right. Hang on, just... How far can okay. Mage... Hang on. If you hit the spell, it'll say. Yeah, I'm... Yeah. I'm looking. Maybe 30, feet. 30 feet. 30 feet. 30 feet. All right. Aww. So you need to go up. You need to be closer. like there. Yeah. Needs to be up a little bit closer to be able to reach far enough away to get to that. Yep. All right. Just make Sully, sure. come on forward. We're going to need that light. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast a mage hand on the chest. Okay. You watch as your red spectral hand appears takes the palm at the bottom lock of the chest and f-tunk, throws it over. Hmm. Dust bellows then settles. I really want to see what's inside. Well, let's not step further. I'm not. I'm still not a fan of walking actually towards this thing. Ooh. I'm going to peer to the right. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Um, just really, really quick. Monty, for a minor for a minor illusion, could I make it be like a rat or a very very small animal, or does it have to be a thing? I think, hmm, it, it has a limit on size of what the thing is, and you don't uh, yeah, have it's, sound. Yeah, it's a five. It's a it's a five by five. Okay, yeah, you could do like a small mouse or like a small rat. All right, I will. I'm going to drop it. Where's my little pinger? Oh, whatever. Uh, I'm going to drop it just kind of here in front of the chest and okay. then um since i can't do that well no minor illusion doesn't have concentration so can i no oh wait that's right only one at a time uh instead i will do a mimicry of a mouse squeak okay do a performance check or actually deception deception check there we go aren't they the same thing if you think about it oh don't do that because i have nothing for Ooh, eight deception. You squeak a couple times and then cough because of the dust. <laughs> okay, there's I, there's some gold on the floor over there right next to the chest. I don't like the idea of actually going near this, especially with how the barrel is broken. Mage hand the loot over this way. See if something reacts. And put it in the uh, bag. I have 
I have another idea. Um, if Sully could, uh, if Sully could uh, move up a little bit, just to be even with us, hold the lantern out if you can. We're right, so swap spots. We're so oh. scared. All right, uh, and I'm going. Uh, is the uh, is the lantern actually fire or is it something else? It's uh, magical. It's a magical fire. So it is fire. Uh, I can actually, see. I can actually reach out Mage Hand there as well. I can, I'll, I'd be able to see it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and ready and act. Well, shoot, no, I can't. Um, it only says it's a bright light. It doesn't specify that it's a flame. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and ready an action to firebolt anything that might attack, whether it be like a mimic or something. All right, my, my plan won't my plan won't work then. It, it, it's got to be fire. I was gonna I was gonna cast thaumaturgy on the on the lantern to make it brighter. Yeah, let's uh let's just mage hand the loot over if something reacts to it. Okay. You send your mage hand over to the coins. Yes. Okay, your mage hand goes down and picks up the coin. As you pick it up, you notice it's actually bigger than a normal coin. And the mage hand slowly pulls it. And you guys watch this hovering coin suddenly come up to panic and holds it in front of you. Look, the balloons. What kind of coin is it? Can we tell? It's uh, very old. You can I tell am. that. Knowledge history. Yeah. Let's do it. It's an old coin, sir, but it's still- Fuck me, out. I rolled an eight. Yeah, I rolled a five. Uh, Let's see, hee-haw? Roll a five. Five uh, again. Bor Borky pops his head up. And do it. Fifteen. Fifteen. Right, not bad. Uh, Sully's here too. I might as well roll for Sully, I guess, if you guys mm -hmm. want me to. Go ahead. Sure. All right. Let's do history. Ooh. Oh, there 16. it goes. All right, sixteen. Uh, Borky, you believe that this is an ancient dwarven coin? Oh. Wait a minute. I remember one time I was in a pub. I saw a dwarf try to pay with this, and they were like, uh-uh, that money ain't good anymore. He's like, oh, yes, it is. That's because that's what he sounded like. That's what dwarves sound like. Dwarven right. currency. Yeah, so it's like dwarven, I call it dwarven big money. Mm. Mm. Well, at least we, we now know what this place used to be. It may not be worth something, but it potentially might be worth something to a historian. Might be true. Or a collector. Let's yeah. yeah let's they collect all this. Bucks. Or not to that bar where he tried to pay it. All right, Mage hand. Uh, all right, uh, t uh, panic. Mage hand the rest of this over this way. Greckles, can you help? This is uh, a slow and tedious process of just one. Oh, all right. I'd like okay. to. I'd like to feel feel my mage hand around in the chest. Okay. Uh, panic. You collect all the coins. You find five of these coins. Ooh. All right, Panic, you can hold uh, on to those. Appear... This is the bag I'm holding. Okay, what? some appear to be gold, some appear to be silver. Um, there's a couple that are copper. That's cool, dwarven currency. Well, if anything, they're worth their weight in gold, at least. Mm. Uh, you're feeling around in the in the box with your mm. mage hand? Dwarven mm. dollary dues, he called them, I think. You hear a kunk kunk noise as your mage hand is kind of tumbling around. You hear something kind of rattling around the bottom as you wave your mage hand back and forth, kind of feeling around. Can I pick it up? Yeah. All right, I'll pick it up and hoist it above the box to see, just, just so everyone can see it at a distance. You feel two objects, a very heavy object and a very small and light object. Which do mm -hmm. you want to lift up first? The small. Okay, you lift up and you see a statuette of a seagull, which is ivory white, and instead of having red eyes, has blue eyes. We can use this for I'll take. I'll take that. Oh my god. Hey. It's reverse gripples. You bring it close to you. It's very small. Fits in the palm of your hand. It's you can tell that there's some yellowing to it from age. Um Had there's hand. like semi precious stones put into it. Mm -hmm. And it's a seagull. It's like Full. a seagull with folded wings perched. Dibs. <laughs> you can have it. Does. You can. All right, so <laughs> you you okay. talks to his. Okay, okay. Oh. So let me lift up. Let me lift no, up the, uh, the, no, the, the heavier one. Just barely you manage to lift up this giant piece of rock, it looks like. And then your mage hand kind of falters and clunks back into the chest. Come on, put your magic into it. Both <sighs> of you do it at the same time. Yeah, it's the most, it yep. must weigh more than the mage hand can handle. Let's both pick it up. Just, All right. Why aren't we just walking up there and just getting it? Because this might be a trap. 
I mean, everything might be a trap. I mean, we're in a trap right now. That's why we're dogs. He's not yeah, wrong. He got us. But this could be this could be a worse trap. A trap within a trap. Have you never heard, heard of the mimics snails. before? All right, Borky, if you're so brave, why don't you lead the way? Go on ahead, big boy. Fine. Borky walks up to the thing. <laughs> Can Borky try and reach in and pull the thing out, just bite onto it, pull it out? Yeah, you you reach into it, you grab this large, almost keyboard size, um, what looks like an engraved, um, oh, I have a, a stone tablet that appears to be engraved. And you lift it up, it's pretty hefty. Oh. You lift it up with your mouth and you poop, you spit it oh. out on the ground. It's mine now, I'm strong. What does it say on it? I, okay, I mean, it's, it, uh, you You're know. Asking. We're asking the guy who can't read. Oh, uh, it says, wow, Borky sure is strong and brave. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> wow, these ancient dwarves knew what they were talking about. What says. am I rolling? Uh, you look down at it, and as you look at it, you see that it appears to be like part of probably a bigger piece. Um, almost like an old, like, very tiny mosaic. Um, you see what looks like some sort of being. Um, kind of being shattered as if in the story does um, this thing remind me of dolmar roll a knowledge uh religion actually religion okay yeah an 18 okay even with that you wouldn't know damn you get the sense that this is probably some sort of keeping of a a, a, a some sort of religious event you don't recognize the depiction at all, um, but it is a very, very important piece of history, probably worth a decent sum. Let's put this in the bag. We'll have to bring this back to town. We can talk about this with someone who actually knows a little bit more about not, uh, religious history. Borky let's, bends uh, down and grabs it, goes, oh, hi, and starts dragging it to the bag. Let's, uh, let, let's make it a point not to tell anyone what we're finding in here. What? Yeah, magical... Magical dog caves. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mage hand the barrel. Feel around. Okay. You shift around the barrel. You find what looks like the dusty remains of maybe some sort of food good, but so old it's just like the like just brown ashy. gray ashy I'm... Like, decay. Hmm. I have an idea. Borky, do me a favor. Get over here. All right, all right. Before I start right. putting in the bag. All right, yeah, you can put it. No, you go ahead and put it in the bag. Oh. I want to take the both the top and the bottom wheel end of the barrel and bring it with us. With your mouth? Well, no, at least bring it with us in the in the uh, bag at least. Wait, you want the bottom and the bottom and top of the barrel? Yeah, the circular bottom and the circular top of the barrel. Can the bag of holding open up that big to fit that in? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a plan? I have an idea to at least. Uh, take attention off us should uh, my, should something uh, happen going forward. Cause I, Cito, I just don't know if we have time for fetch. Cito, did you just forgotten realms us? Kind of. Okay. <laughs> kind of. I like where this is going then. Kind of. <laughs> uh, Bor 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 Borky, Borky says, all right, you take that one. I got this one. Borky easily picks up his giant slab and walks to the bag. You do notice that the metal, uh, you guys are taking like the actual wooden pieces, right? Yeah. Yes, I'm taking the wood. Okay. They're not as hardy as like a brand new barrel, but they are solid enough. No, this is good. This is exactly what I wanted. All right, let's uh, check down this other side of the Task, cave. You have to, Task has to bring his. Borky only took one. I want Task, Sully, to, I want, like... I want Task to struggle to pull it. <laughs> Sully, can you light the way over here? Uh, sure. Uh, let me restealth. Can we, can we, That's can we, safe. That's a safe. Can we? Can we just say that? Uh, 20, 24 stealth. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, we're still doing our thing here. One second. All right. Can, can we? Can we just? Okay. I guess we're just wrapping it up then. Um. Can, I guess Das just gets his then. Yeah, they're not heavy. They're okay. not terribly heavy. So whatever. I rolled an eighteen in athletics. There you go. Just, you frisbee throw it as a dog, which is very backwards into the bag. That's weird. <laughs> All right. So what's what's I mean we could see what's what's down in this little crevice area right here. Uh, let me a think. dead end. Oh, okay, just want to make sure. <laughs> Sorry. A dead end. Well, no, it's this little side. It's here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah, it's that side thing. 
Yeah, I guess uh, we're option. now on the top. We're now on going down the second path because the one path led into a room. Now we're going down the rest of the hall. Rest of rolled the okay. rolled an eleven on perception. Okay. Yeah, all you guys can see except me. So yay. <laughs> All right, it leads. Uh, I don't know what's down there, but it leaves. It leads into a larger end of the cave. There's, it's a wider opening. I can't see, but there's something on the far edge. I think it's cloth. Hmm. Uh, I, I'm gonna roll up a little bit closer and see if I can at least get an edge of what that stuff is. Yeah, I'm gonna just chill out right here. Yeah. And just ready in action to firebolt anything that might attack. One more perception check for good luck. Perception. 23. Not bad. <clears throat> you see... Do, 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 sorry. Yeah, no, 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 take your time. I, I like this fog of war. I really like it. Oh. What in the fuck? It's a big ass room. What the hell is that? Is that a door? Yep. That's a door. It's a giant metal, I guess, metal or stone door. Forky runs up just in the middle of the room, like slowly looking at the Forky, door. Forky, there's something on the side of the wall. Oh. Oh, yeah, it I'm is. What is, what is that? What, what are these scribbles on the side of the wall? As you look at them, they're holes. Oh shit. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Do they look man made or creature made? They look like not like natural in the sense like a rock formation. They look like um they were boar, like they were made. <laughs> Guys, something see... dug its way in here. <laughs> what? Uh I wanna mage hand the door. Just feel hey. around. You go up to the door and you notice, um, kind of like the mosaic tile that you guys got. Um, you notice it's as if someone, uh, as if, oh, sorry, my, I can't, I'm, I'm having trouble talking today. Uh, it's as, as if someone took like a crowbar and like tore whatever was on top of the surface of this doorway. It's just like this rough stone beneath, but you can tell it was once a really ornate and beautiful door. Hey guys, it feels like there's something broken here. That's a nice door. I'm you notice anything wrong with it? Mm, there's holes in it. Tass, this might be a, a piece of the puzzle, so to speak. Yep. Get that slab. Let's put it in here. Forky pulls the slab out of the bag of holding. Mage hand it, boys. Oh, if, we can, if we can actually lift it. Can we lift it with the combined effort? Yeah, you can. Work really okay. hard. It's pretty it. heavy, though. Yeah, we can lift about 20 pounds with our mage hand. All right, so let me actually step back because I don't know what's coming through there. Okay, so yeah, Panic, if you want to come hang out with me while we yeah. do this, just in case. We don't need you tanking again. <laughs> I would appreciate that. Also, in before, it's a giant dog behind the door. Yeah. Dog, okay, dog, so we've got violence. we've got room we've got room right here to manipulate. So we'll go, we'll put it, we'll feel around to see if we can, if there's a spot we can put it back. Okay, you guys take the, the, the stone tablet and you kind of push and push and push into different areas. It doesn't fit. And it doesn't really match with the rest of this door in any way. It's like all the pieces are missing. You don't see any other mosaic tiles anywhere. I mage hand the, the holes. <laughs> Yeah, get in there. Get in there. Just get it. You know, just get it on in there. Which which hole do you mage hand? Uh, I'm gonna do I'll, this one first. And that I'll one. Mage, I'll mage this hand. The hole. Can you explain that again one. what we're actually looking at here? Because I feel like I'm not. What you're okay? Here. What you're looking at is. No, I'm not, I was asking Nadine. Sorry. Like I, oh, okay. You're you're basically in a large. You're in a large cave area. It's like a big oh, open no, that, area. I mean, I, mean, a, I mean the wall. I mean the wall and the holes. I don't fully understand what it is. It's like a. Just, just, there's wall. just holes in the wall. Is, like, is it all so, over the place? Is it all in a line? It's just three giant holes. Okay. Three? I only see two. Oh, it's one at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Uh, panic! You reach in with your mage hand. You kind of slap the walls. They're walls. Uh, you can feel through your mage hand. I would assume we could sense, otherwise we couldn't do okay. things. 
<laughs> um, Greckles, you reach through one of the holes and you feel something soft. I'll give it a soft squeeze. Yeah, yeah buddy. Bu yeah, buddy. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, goodness. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can pull it out. Pull out a cat. <laughs> oh, Borky, uh, Borky, Borky rolls for growling. <laughs> okay. I, I, I counter growl. <laughs> <laughs> as you pull out the cat you hear a bloop and you see your adversary pug sitting in front of the door well, hello yeah. again well look who it is if it isn't mr pug the pug that is a lovely title i should consider that for my leadership position of my dog army mm. was this the anyway point of the trial this is part of the trial indeed. You must fight the dreaded enemy of dog. This cat? Okay. Oh, there's more than one. And he blips out of existence. And as he says that, you hear the holes. You hear shifting and movement in the holes. I want everybody to roll initiative. Oh shit. Oh, snap. Are we, this uh, is where I grab my battle. I agree, with, I agree, I agree with the chat. The we, ha we, have, we have to fight baths. Yeah. The ultimate dreaded enemy. <laughs> oh my God. All the cat lovers in the audience, we are so sorry. Uh, 15. Nat oh, 20 geez. initiative. Nice. I got, I got a 19. Okay. Uh, go with... Cat fight. Uh, yeah. What? Do, do, do. So you have a fifth. Wow, good initiatives, guys. Yeah. Thank so it's you. Forky. Oh, I had to roll for Solly as well. After so many times I've gotten me last, now I'm first. It's nice. It, must, it feels mm -hmm. good. There we go. I'll just roll ours in house. Okay, you guys it's got not four bad. extra initiative. I only have one. This, how does everyone have four and I only have one? Am it's I, a dexterity trick. Dexterity. Oh, yeah. that's how it is. Okay. Quirky task. With your fist. Oh, I don't want to kill cats. Crackle. Ooh, but I, they want to kill you. Ooh, Do I, they? I, I, I don't know. I misunderstood. I thought all the holes were actually on the like the wall with the the, the giant door. I uh, was completely. No, yeah, the black scribbles are the holes. I can't. I, do, I couldn't discern them from the actual dog of war there. Sorry, I had no mm. idea what was going on. No wonder I was confused. Okay, not. Oh wait, what was your initiative? You you knocked your music out. Did oh, I? there it is. No, it's yeah, looping. It should, come, it should come back. Okay, it loops. Okay, that means these guys go first. Wait. Dogs have the decency to poop outside. Cats force you to clean up their poop inside. Makes you think, guys. Okay. Makes you Task think. is like Task just looking around, just going, "I this kind of feels unnecessary. Like this is, a, this is a trick, and we're killing other creatures, like that we're just turned into this." How big are the cats? You just see the one. It's just a house cat. Yeah. How big? Yeah, it's a house cat. So it's like, fuck. It's probably like just a little bit bigger than me. Okay. You do have that size category. <laughs> All right, Berkey, you're up first with the natural 20. You do hear something approaching in the two other holes, one to the, to the south and one to the north. Um, really, really quick, I don't mean a metagame, but I just want to let you know of this mechanic, Taka. You can always ready an action. As soon as something comes out, you can rush and attack it. I have actually was curious. Oddly enough, I actually was like listening to a, a gaming podcast. So I was like, okay, I need to ready actions more. I, I think I can do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bor Borky, uh, Borky gets in front of, goes up to Panic and like stands in front of Panic and readies an action right in front of him, right in front of his hole. Okay, I would move yourself right there. Also good wording. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Raising. This is coming from Balls Man. Hey man, listen. My thirst is quenched. There's no taste like the good taste of balls. All right, you ready in action, Borky? Yeah. Task. It is now your turn. Uh. Task doesn't seem like this is something they should be doing. Task is going to try diplomacy with the cat. Do you speak? That, this is Do this is this is sacrilegious. You know what you're doing right now is like literally sinful. Well, I, I want to make sure that we're not killing something that has sentience that the dog yeah. just fucked over. Oh. Yeah, the, that's a handle animal. Oh God, what am I saying? That's, oh, that's, that's sorry. Pers yeah, that's uh, I'm not. Well, let's let's see. In this I'm universe, can out. dogs talk, talk to cats? No. 
Oh. <laughs> what what would that check be for a cal to calm animal? Uh, that would be a handle animal. Yeah. That would have, that would be handle animal, but at the same time, but I just want to double check. Does this thing speak? Try talking to it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I get. Well, I guess it's like. I guess I'll roll handle animal, but because the worst case scenario is if I if I try to treat this thing like an animal and it, my name's Timothy asshole, then we'll have our answer. <laughs> Eighteen Who handle animal. their cat Timothy? You you yell at the cat. What do you yell to the cat as you do this? I just I just look at the cat and I I, I just look at the cat and go, do you speak? It licks itself. That answers that. All oh, right, that's ready. That's insulting. That's insulting to us. <laughs> All right, well, ready for something to come out of the hole down here, I guess. Hey, Greckles, it's now your turn. Um, I'm going to do 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 do. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna move here. Bonus action, stealth check. Ooh, okay. nine, yay. Um, it's pretty open. And then I'm going to ready an action to firebolt anything that may come out of that hole. Okay. Down to the south, the really far away one. All right, Borky, as you're ready an action near the, your hole there. Yeah. I swear to God, if this is- a oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, so- Oh my God! Oh. Son of a bitch, I called it! <laughs> you Please. see a cat-like creature peer out of the whole claws ready. And it's going, you can use your ready to action now. I assume it's to attack. Can I attack or can I rage? You're both acceptable? Uh, you can only do an action. One thing, so either rage or attack. Yeah. I'm wondering which, ooh, which one would be the best if I'm about to take an attack. It's a Narcacuga. <laughs> no, it's not, it's worse. Bor Borky goes into a, a wild rage. All right, you begin to rage. Oh, I dropped the dice. That's gonna yeah, happen. Again. <laughs> Full I, Monty. I, I was pulling. I was pulling it out of my bag. Please. Oh, Zito. Yeah. Is this a displacer beast? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. My favorite thing, kitty whippins. No, kitty... not kitty whippins. The cat. That's what my friends call them, and it's great. All right. The cat seeing you now, Borky, seeing this tasty, delectable dog in front of it. It's gonna go for a tentacle attack. What the fuck? That misses. As you stand there raging, you suddenly see this kind of octopus-like tentacle with spikes at the end lash out and whip out. You manage to just dodge your head. It almost nicks your little ear. And then it goes for another attack. That is an 18 plus six. That's a 24 to hit. That is plus. That is an, that's eight piercing damage. Or no, wait. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Eighty. Eight plus. Okay. So you take eight bludgeoning damage, which is halved, and then you take two uh, piercing damage, which is also halved. So you take five. Five points of damage, yeah. Cool. As you're whipped out and you feel the flesh and the fur on your cheek spray out as this tentacle slaps you across the face. Down to 32 health, shit. We're gonna have, yeah, we're gonna have a bad time, guys. <laughs> well, let's burn down one at a time. You begin to hear more rustling from the other hole as another displacer beast, Ooh. kitty whipping. Let me drop Fuck. it. All right. Come on, we'll just... Ooh, it does a 20 hit. That hits. Which, which one are you targeting? What, what, what are you targeting? The right south. I, I read it in action to hit anything in the hole that was to the south of us, and it came out. Okay. Another displacer beast actually jumped, leaped right out. And six damage. Perfect. Six damage? Mm hmm. Okay. You watch as a fireball blasts past you and Solly Task, and you hear a horrible screech as this displacer beast is hit in the side of its face. You see cinders fly in the air, and the displaced beast growls and snarls, bearing all of its white fangs. You also notice it's got a large scar running up its shoulder, up its back. Ugh. Um, silly question, what, what do we, like, this is, this is, this is, is this, is this, is this, is there a puzzle at play here, or can you not say? 
Because they, these these creatures seem pretty powerful. We can't use our weapons at all or any abilities. So it's... you guys have a bite attack. If you what look in that? your attacks, you yeah. actually have a bite attack. Oh, okay, I see it. And you guys also have pack tactics now because you're dogs. What is that? Which basically means if you flank, like you know when you get the plus two to flank, when you flank as dogs, you also get advantage on the attack. Oh, neat. Oh wait, does that mean I can sneak attack with my teeth? Yeah, you can. Nice! <laughs> Alrighty, Panic, it is now your turn. Okay, I've got a question before I do what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, so I I obviously can't use my guitar. No, you're a dog. But I can blow. Can I use a flute? Very badly. Specifically the flute. Specifically the pipes of haunting. It would be in the bag no. of holding, bro. Yeah, it's in the bag of holding, and that would take really long to pull it out. I mean, you could try. Well, darn it. Uh, I, I'll, I'll go with something else then. I... You can still cast like inspiration and things like that. Can I cast any of my other spells or just? Yeah, you can cast all your spells. All right, awesome. Unless, unless it requires like a hand element to it, mm -hmm. for the most part, you can cast whatever spells you need to. Yeah, I don't think I have. That goes for you like too, that. Task. You can as well. Yeah, buddy. Oh wait. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. You can oh, Hunter's Mark and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I guess I d did talking to the cat pick up my action? It was a free action, I'd say. Okay, then do, do you mind if I take my ready action on the Displacer Beast below? I'll be nice, sure. Okay, cool, yeah, then I'm just gonna put Hunter's Mark on it. Okay. Um, silly question, not the metagame. Shouldn't we just be targeting one? Ah! <laughs> metagaming, no. All right. Okay. You can use your ready to action after uh, Panic's turn. Oh. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Uh, all right, I'm going to reposition myself uh, in between everybody. And just one last quick check of the ruler here just to see. Yep, 25 feet, 25 feet. All right, I'm going to cast Bane on both the tiny little kitty cat and oh. the displacer beast near Borky. Okay. Poor cat. Okay, 30 feet, three targets within range. Up to three creatures of your choice that you can see within range with a charisma saving throw. Whether a target that fails the saving throw makes an attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract a number rolled from the attack roll or saving throw. So All right, lost. so they have a- So lost. <laughs> they have a debuff, essentially, is what I'm getting. Hey, yes, yes, they're both they're debuffed. Whenever they make an attack roll or a saving throw, they have to roll a d4 and then subtract that number from their roll. Okay. okay. All right, little kitty got a four, so little kitty's definitely got it. Bane! Placer Beast, it's a charisma check? Yes, it's a charisma check. D's. The Placer Beast is known for their charisma. <laughs> they have a minus one to charisma. They are not well liked. <laughs> uh, it's a 12, so. That, my DC 15, so. Basically. Yeah, yeah I, guys, I, guys, I'm, guys, I am aware in the chat, I am aware that Senile's quiet. We can't do anything about that. One second. I'm still quiet. I'm like right next to the microphone. Okay. You might have an audio. You, you might have your audio adjust on. I don't. I don't. Oh, I checked. Oh, oh, that was loud. Okay. There we go. Was it loud? Damn it. Yeah. Oh. Now we can hear you. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. All right. Uh. Okay. So yeah. Um. I guess as my bonus action, I'll uh inspire. Task. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Ba -woo, ba -woo, ba -woo. I shouldn't be inspired by this, but I am. <laughs> What's your inspiration die again? I don't uh, know inspiration is 1d6. Nice. Cool. I'm gonna grab two 1d4s. I'm gonna need them for the kitty weapons and the regular cat. Alrighty. Solly's turn. God, I hope she positions properly. I hope she positions properly. Oh, what are you gonna do, Sully? She's gonna move over here. Actually, no, she's got the lantern. She's not gonna be that dumb. Um, You know what? She's gonna get her, no, that would block you. What would she do? You know what, I'm gonna roll an intelligence check for her. Okay, she's smart. She's gonna move to the side and point the lantern behind her so you guys can still see. Cool. Borky, it's now your turn. Borky makes a bite attack. 
All right, it should be in your attack uh, stats there. Okay. I used your guys' higher modifiers for it automatically. Yay. So yeah, thank you. Finesse biting. Basically, you're tiny dogs. You haven't, you know, you're you're better at hitting. Orky goes for a bite attack. The is. Cool. Oh! Nat 20, 27. Borky. Oh my god. Borky didn't like being bitten in the face. And Except for it's not a natural 20. What? Cause... Why? Wait. Yeah, it's a nat 20. It's a it, nat 20. It has displacement, though. It's a displacer beast. So it's, it's just automatic disadvantage? The displacer beast projects a magical illusion that makes it appear to be standing near its actual location, causing rolls against it to have disadvantage. Wait, was it hit by something? Oh, wait, it was hit by an attack. Uh, the one Borky is attacking? Uh, I hit that with Bane. I don't know if uh, we actually that hit it. counts as an yet. attack. Well. Vague wording. It's your call. You know what? I'm going to say for now, I'll be nice. I'll let the nat 20 sit. Whoa. All right, roll that damage. Whew. Huzzuck, yeah. Thank you, Nadine. Well, no problem. I It's vague wording. We'll figure this it is out a, here. This is a weird... Like, quest, by the way, so, honestly, like, seriously. <laughs> yeah, at this point, anything can happen. Borky, Borky, taking that slight stab to the face, growls, jumps up and bites down with all of his anger and does syntax error. What? <laughs> what? I... Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. What? Syntax Wait. error. We can't roll oh, anything. No. Oh, oh, no. Please. Are you fucking... Oh, I can't, I can't, syntax error. Oh God, we'd be displaced. <laughs> just, just roll, just roll the dice naturally. Roll a 2d, roll 2d6. All right, roll 2d6, so like roll two. Yeah. Not syntax error. <laughs> your, your, your crit broke. Roll broke 2d6 a... plus what? Roll 2d6 and then I'll add five, okay? Eleven. 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 Now, Roll two more, or actually roll three more d d6s. Okay, and with no plus five? No plus five. And roll nine. Oh, okay. what the fuck are these rolls? So it's... one of those extra d6s, guys, is from his brutal critical feat that he has. Oh, so yeah. if anyone's like, why does he get an extra one? He's got brutal critical as an orc. Uh, you do 20 points of damage. That's still a lot, dude. I know, That's but I wanted, I wanted him to be a bajillion. <laughs> well, we can't. We we can't always one hit kill with our nat. We're not level. Taka. We're not level twenty. My whole, my, not my, the lightning javelin. Come on. My whole day has been syntax error, guys. I'm serious <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh my god! You leap up and you bite into this thing's jugular, and like you hear behind you, Task, as you're like focus Chihuahua style on also, this displacer beast. Also, you hear the most awful screaming behind you. Hmm. Sounds like fun. I hate you. I hate today. Being a dog was fun, but now it's not. Plus, plus two for rage, Tunity. Yeah, I know. <laughs> just, ah! Borky does syntax error right to him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's not going to work for any of your guys' stuff, so that's going to be bad. You guys have to roll manually roll the 2d6s. That's I'm fun. sorry. Oh, Back in my day, we rolled actual dice. What? Task Up hill in turn. the snow. Task is your turn. All right. I'm going to turn to Sully. Go, go straight in. Let's flank it. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna get up to this motherfucker right over yonder. I want everyone to imagine a tiny chihuahua going up against a tentacled demon panther. All right, let's roll to hit this fecker. Okay. Uh, it's hecker. See. You call him a hecker? No fecker. disadvantage. I'll say there's no disadvantage for this. Okay. So that's a d20 plus my dex. Yeah. 12, and my dex is... Do, 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 do. Fuck, I lost my page. <clears throat> Ugh, D20, why'd you have to do an update? <sighs> right? Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, that hits? Yes, okay, so 2d6 plus my dex. Oh, wait, no, is that true, or am I... Yeah, 2d6 plus your dexterity bonus. Nice. 15. You leap up and you rip its tail off. Oh. Yeah! You grab the end of it and you just chomp and chomp and chomp down like a little termite. 
and you rip it off and the bone's extending out. And once again, on the other side, you guys also hear more screams. Dog, dog club. 15. Dog club for, for, for this mission. Do, 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 that is, wow, okay. All righty. Greckles, it's now your turn. Um, you... I'm looking. I'm looking at this displacer beast up to the north. Is it f completely focused on Borky? It's completely focused on Borky. You just barely see it with the lantern. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this in order, just so you know what's going on. I'm gonna run up here to this point. Okay. Are you gonna run, up, are you gonna run up? Are you gonna run up beside it? Yeah, I'm gonna run up beside it, do a bite, hoping it sneaks, and with my with my bonus action dash to here okay dash to where uh oh dash to right next to the door okay which is on the opposite side so what I, i'm just gonna go boom boom and then let me hear you say ayo 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 into right. your room <laughs> one step at a time wanna say boom boom can i is it is it here or here right there yeah okay so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do i'm gonna do my busy biz bite okay uh, where are you at you're gonna have to just roll a deep. No, no okay. you can you can roll the hit. It's the it's the damage that was syntax area. Yeah. So that's a twenty-two. Okay, that definitely hits. Let me try. Okay. So it's, it's just Borky uh, that's not working. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, uh, mine did it. Mine did it as well. Uh, but I think it's fine now. So that's eleven damage. Do I get sneak? Roll attack? your sneak attack. Yep. Because right. it didn't notice you sneak up. Two D six. Yeah, two D six. And seven more, so that's another 18. 18 damage. Not bad, not bad. Dog! And you gonna... sneak up and you bite it and you rip its ear off. And then you run off with its ear in your mouth, you just go running. You just <laughs> snowy break away. <laughs> <laughs> you tried a Naruto run, but then you remember, and then your dreams are a little bit crushed, but then you're I like, whatever. Like, I, don't, I don't have arms to hold behind me. No, you don't, you can't Naruto run. You have ears though. You have a tail. Okay. But I'm a little Shiba Inu. His tail can't be straightened out. Shiba Inu no jutsu. Bite and run. One second. I gotta grab the cat stats. Oh no. Oh no, I don't oh. have the cat stats. Where's Not the cat Not Mr. Stats? Whiskers. I thought I tapped it. I didn't. Oh no. Bad DM. Cat. You had to go. Panic, you just had to freaking bane the cat. All right, the cat is gonna run up to you, panic, seeing your lovely, uh, I don't know. Everything. Cat's just trying to help. Yeah, beautiful everything, there you go. Uh, the cat is gonna leap up and attempt to claw you. Oh, that is a, ooh, that is a seven plus. Oh. Not. The cat begins to like play with your fur, like paw at it. Oh, I'm just reminded of the Looney Tunes. That... <laughs> oh, with the dog. Yeah, yeah, the, <laughs> with the tiny kitten. Yeah. Uh, Borky, as you're standing in front, the cat beast is like snarling and panting. Suddenly, it starts to shift in place as if rapidly. It is going to attempt to tentacle you. That is a four. The oh first tendril lashes out, missing you. Getting a lot of fours today. Ooh, that is a 22 to hit. Ow! <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Okay. Oh, wow. You take... Uh, that's five points of bludgeoning damage, halved down to two. And then you take six points of piercing damage, halved down to three. So you take five points of damage total. That's not bad. As another tendril comes out and lashes you across the shoulder. Yeah, so Taka, I'm just gonna let you know this since we're already this is out and clear in the open. These things have two tentacle have squid like tentacles on the back. Oh! This thing had actually Bane on it. Let oh, me I, 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 Sorry. From the two from the two attacks, I assume. Oh, no, it still hits. It's a one. So even with the bane, it's distraction from panic, it still does hit you. 
everyone in the chat's now going kitty whippins. It's the best name for them. Like I, I went up to my friends, I'm like, I kinda wanna have Displacer Beast. He goes, oh, Kitty Whippins? And I'm like, that that's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. The kitty whippin you tore the tail off of is not happy with you, Task. That is a natural one. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. Alright. Roll to see if it works itself. You don't, in give the face. A, you don't give a heck. Uh it goes to lash out at you, Task, and fachook, its tentacle gets stuck in the rock. Ha! It is now prone, and it can't make an additional attack next turn. So but we it get is, in here! <laughs> it is going to attack with another tentacle angrily. And that's a seven plus six, that's a thirteen. That will miss. Yeah, lashes out and you just like jump up with your chihuahua strength, land on the ground, and the thing just snarls at you. It looks furious. I'm just imagining like a Studio Madhouse style animation of just like doing one punch <laughs> yes! style that's dodging and jumping. <laughs> As it's going for moves, you're just doing all these like cartwheels and stuff in the air. <sighs> wow, he just right. don't give a heck, does he? Dude, dude, I just fucking imagined uh, Trevor Belmont versus Alucard right now. <laughs> Stone the fuck up, kitty whippins. Panic, so, it's now your turn. Uh, all right. Uh, just just letting you know, uh, Bane does last for a full minute. It doesn't matter how many attacks they do. They are like this for 10 rounds. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, would it would it take an action to bend down and pluck this kitty up by the scruff? Uh, With what, your teeth? Yeah, yeah, he's got his teeth. Uh, I'd say... You know, I'd say... <sighs> You know, I'd say it's a bonus action. I'll just say it's a bonus action, unless you want your okay. bonus action. Oh no, I'll, I'll just I'll just pick Kitty up by the scruff. Just here, as you pick the cat up. Right now, just hoisting it, hoisting it harmlessly in front of me. Now, and I'm gonna look look over at uh, this displacer beast, the one that's uh, task is fighting, and just go, hey, hey you, do you think this would make a good hat? I'm going to cast vicious mockery. Okay. God, what is it with you and cat murder? Mermaid murder. <laughs> what? Mermaid, cat, cat, kitty murder, kitty, kitty, kitty murder. Oh, did that get a syntax error? I hope not. You might want to reload in for those of you having problems. Just I, refresh I, I, roll I, I, 20, I, I, maybe. I, I am going to refresh this. You guys are quiet right now. I'll, I'll just, uh... Here, do you want me to click it for you? No, I got it. Uh... Why did you guys get? Why did you guys get all quiet all of a sudden? We're not, dude. We're, we're, we're not. not. I just whispered that. Yeah. I can hit. I can hit uh, vicious mockery for you, Snake, if you'd like me to. Uh. Does it work? I'm clicking it and it's not working. Okay, it is not working. Talk okay, to so I'm just gonna wait. roll one d four then. Oh, I see why it's not working. Why is that? Because they totally, the update totally messed up the damage. Oh. Damn it, roll 20. Wow, right. okay. For what now, is the regular damage for it? Sorry, let's just fix it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to roll 1d4 because the, 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 the spell save is... Uh, oh, hold on, you guys, real fast. I need to, We need to stop real fast here. Audio okay. is super quiet now for everybody. I'm, I'm now maxing out the audio so you guys can hear it okay. Guys, can you all talk now? Hello? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hello? Yeah, hello. I had to max the audio. I have no idea. Weird. Okay, and then it was a 15 wisdom save. That's a natural one. Oh dear. Wow, this kitty weapon sucks. Yeah, um, <laughs> it like looks at you and like, huh? like yeah, yeah, Guys, 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 real fast, we gotta hold up again. I'm so sorry. Uh, no one can hear. Like the whole chat's complaining right now. What? Yeah, music is too loud now. What? I don't, Nadine. I don't know. Okay, just okay, please. Okay, I'll, sh I'll shut down the music. There we go. Yeah, unfortunately, like, yeah, it's, I don't know what's going on here. I have everything maxed out. All my audio settings are maxed out. It's just, I do not know what's uh, happened here to Discord. It's now just, they're saying it's fine. Well, now it is. Remember, it, remember, there's a 30 second delay. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine for me. We can hear them, but it's weird. It's fine. Now I can hear. One second. Let me, let me, let me, let me refresh again. Cause I think it just fucked all my audio up. I have to reload the call. I do apologize for this temporary uh, delay, That's guys. Kitty whippings. 
You're the one. Say something. Hello. Say stuff. Okay, Hello, I'm here. Okay, we're about to lower the... Uh, okay, say something now, guys. Hello, Hello. I'm here now. Say Saying stuff. Okay, good. We're good now. I had to reset everything. Okay. Oh, that was weird. Huh. You feeling stressed? <laughs> All right. No oh. one's leaving. Everyone's no. having a good time. I'm going to turn the music a bit. Is the music okay? Music's great. Yep. All right. Uh, so they rolled a natural one on their, their wisdom save. <laughs> uh, they take two points of psychic damage. We're going to double that to four. Yeehaw. Max damage, boys. <laughs> uh, the cat droops its ears and looks very sad. And it also has disadvantage on its next turn. A long... Uh, Get yeah. fucked, son! And he's prone! And he can't make multiple attacks, either. This cat right. is... Please, I hope she paid attention to get in there. Yes! The flanking is real! <laughs> Alright. She flanks. Don't I fuck up. Oh. Okay. That is... That's natural 20. Alright, cool. Yes! <laughs> Uh, it's 2d6 plus her strength, because her strength is her higher stat here. So that's, you know what? Nine. Plus five, so that's 14. Plus her strength plus two. So that's 16 points of damage. Oh my god. You watch as Solly leaps up onto the shoulder of this kitty whippin' and just tears into it. The kitty whip and thrashes around, and she's holding firm. You see blood spraying out, and eventually she falls off. She kind of lands on her side, but she manages to scatter up back to her feet. She kind of spits blood out. Pack tactics! Alrighty. Orky, it's now your turn. Excellent. <laughs> uh, so Borky didn't take any damage when he, when he, when after the he fought that thing? He took five. You did. I, I did take five damage, but like that was from the first pass, and then Bork did the crit hit. Did I take any damage after that? Yeah, you took five. Yeah, that's five. I didn't even remember us talking about that. I'm so yeah. sorry. Well, that we were talking about that, and then it, it was the next attack round, and then everything goofed up. So okay, was... sorry. Okay, so I'm now so I'm just at 32. So now I'm down to 27. Yep. Basically, yeah. was that was that five halved or was that that was that, that was half? That was half. That was. I got, was the, I got, so the I got hit for the same amount of damage both times. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just want to make sure. Sorry, I'm just been trying to yep. fix this tech shit. It's just it's been really hard to get into the game. Sorry. Okay, anyways. Alright, uh okay, here we go. Borky decides Well if first you if you first you succeed, try try again. And uh, oh I need to pull up the character sheet again because I had to reset everything. One second. Yeah, for those of you who don't know who use Roll at 20, they just recently updated their site at like today. And it, it was fucked either, everything. It yeah. did. We lost all of our equipment. Uh, we lost. I managed to get everything else yeah. back for the most part, but attack rolls are probably gonna have to be fixed. It looks like twenty-three. So, nice. Uh, roll two d six plus, and I'll add your strength modifier. See, try I'll... and actually, actually try clicking the bite attacks. It worked for me. Yeah. Okay. okay there we go. go. Twelve. Plus, plus, plus two. two with rage. That's fourteen points of damage. Oh, she just keeps tearing into that weak. Just keeps ripping in there. <laughs> you just rip in. You actually, you, you, um, ugh, sorry, you snap out with your jaws and your muzzle, and you manage to hook the face, like the top jaw of the, the kitty whippin. <laughs> uh, well, actually, no, it was displacing. That would be a disadvantage. Oh. You miss. Fuck! Oh no. That's right, it started to move. You think you have it. And then you're like, oh no, I do not have it. Uh oh. Oh, Heluxus, thank you so much. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot. I have it in my notes that he's displaced. I'm sorry. Task, it's now your turn. Bite the flavor loving shit out of this thing. Alrighty. Let, let's see if biting actually works now, now that we've all restarted our bullshit. Character <laughs> sheet open and bite. Ooh. All right. It's a 23. Crawling. So 23 does hit. Plus flanking. Hit. Plus flanking, so that'd be a plus two. Plus pack tactics, which actually cancels out. You would actually have advantage here. 15. Oh. Plus Hunter's Mark. Yep. Plus so Colossus Slayer. 
Oh, that's right. I, I, I never fucking rolled Colossus Slayer or Hunter's Mark for my last hit. Is Colossus Slayer only with ranged weapons, though? That's the question. Uh, no, I don't think it's with ranged weapons. It's with any attack I make. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm, unless I'm talking bullshit. Let me double check. Uh, Sharpshooter, blah, blah, blah. Primeval Awareness. Boo, 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 boo. Attacking long range doesn't impose disadvantage with your ranged attack. Okay. Shit, it fucking erased it. Oh, wait, no. There it is, Colossus Slayer. When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, doesn't okay, say perfect. ranged or melee, so... so that's I roll a 1d6 and a 1d8 along with my damage? Yep, so roll a 1d6, 1d8. Ah! Those are bad rolls. The five altogether. That's 20 points of damage, though. Yep. This tiny little chihuahua leaps on top. You run down the front of this thing, and you just bite into its ribs. Like, you are right through its skin, and you are just chomping down with these tiny little razor-like teeth. Yeah, please, um, can you mark the Displacer Beast with something else, like an icon or something, so I know that it's that? Hunter's Mark? Yeah. Like, an, like one of the little icons, like an eye or something. Uh, sure. I Thank will you. use this mark, because he's marked That's for good. death. That's There you go. Cool. All right. Freckles, it's now your turn. I can't attack the one up top because it's too dark, I would assume, because the lantern is way down here. She dropped it. Oh, it's, so it's over here? It's like a guy, it's got a giant radius, like, right around oh. here. Oh. Yeah, she dropped it. Oh, so I can see this thing up here? Yeah, Solly has dark vision. So she doesn't okay. need the lantern, so she put it down. Um. Did I, I, I don't know if that picked up when I said that. I may have whispered that, sorry. That's okay. Um, is it completely focused on Borky right now? Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to do the same tactic, run up here, and then I'm going to run over here with the dash bonus bonus action and a single attack. Now, okay. it is displacing, but it's canceled out with the dog tactics, right? No, you have to be on the other side of it, and oh, it's currently you in a hole. Flanking. You got to be flanking. Ooh, gotta yeah. be flanking it. Okay, let me reevaluate the strategy here. I could bonus action dash, do one attack, and use a regular movement. Does that sound good? Sure. Okay, I just want to make sure. So we're going to... Which way is this thing facing? Uh, it's facing towards uh, this direction, towards task right now. Towards task. Okay, so I'm going to move. Let me make sure I can do it. Okay. Well, I can actually make... No, give me the... Jeez. So here, I'm going to attack. Okay. Let's roll does he, that. Does it get packed at, uh, tactics with us? Uh... I'm attempting a flank. I would go, if you're going to attempt the flank, I would go here instead. Would if that, you can make it. that wouldn't be facing it? No, I, I could make that. Because I'm, yeah, using, cause I'm then, using the bonus dash action. Because then you would be sandwiched between Solly there. Right, but that's why I was asking which way it was facing. If it's facing this way, I wanted to flank it going... You'd have to be right behind it. You'd have to be in either of these two spaces. Oh, okay. So I would have yeah. to go behind Task. Otherwise, I'd have to move, like, all the way around. Yeah. Okay. So I will go here, and I will make my attack. All right. That is a 13 plus... Two, that that's plus? a 15. Yeah, because you're you're flanking. And then your pack taxes will give you an advantage. So that does hit. All righty. Do I have... Do I get sneak attack damage? Oh, yeah, you do. Your player all number right. three coming in to... to... To dance. Bite attack is 10 damage plus nice. 2d6 plus 6 damage. So that's 16 total. Six, 16 total. You guys, you, you as you land task from just rearing into this thing's ribs, it falters back. And as it does, you hear panting behind you and you watch as this Shukaku Ino leaps through the air, bites right into this thing's jugular. It whips around. And then as... Greco's lands next to you on all four paws. The Displacer Beast starts screaming, and as it does, gurgles, seizes, and then collapses in front of you. Dope. It's dead. Then, so that was, I was here. Okay, yeah, I would have to make the dash action. So yeah. I will use, I will use my move action to go here then. Yes, yeah, so use oh, your bonus action. Oh, that's great. We get, we get 40 movement because we're dogs. Well, 
Yep. Actually, okay. no, well, hang on. 40, I would, so I can move 50 technically because of my mobility, right? Yeah. So I will move two, two more spaces up. So like right hey. in front of the door. You're a very you know, fast dog. I am a very fast dog. I'm a good boy. Okay, I'm done. All right. The cat is going to attempt to break your grapple. With its, it's going to do its... so with, with Bane on it still. I know. Oh, good. That's a good strength modifier. <laughs> okay, that's... I'm going to roll the bay just for, for being funny. Okay, so that's 10 minus 4. Oh. That's a 6. It squirms. Can do more. nothing. <laughs> The displacer beast in front of you is shifting. Borky attempts one tentacle. That, that misses. That's a three. Uh, and attempts another one. And that's uh, a five. And that also misses. Uh, in rapid succession. Lash, lash. They both come out. You duck under one. You jump over the next one, landing on your feet. Borky's, Borky's feeling the flow. I'm really feeling it. You're good over it, guy. Panic, it is now your turn. You're the dog now, man. Hmm. God damn it. What could I do? <laughs> hmm. I've been saving that one for a while. Fuck you. <laughs> mm. Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna just gonna whip around with the with the cat now facing in front of me towards the other displacer beast. And Panic's gonna say, hey. Uh, the other guy didn't think this would make a good hat, but uh do you think it would make good socks? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, but it's just mockery works now. Yay, we fixed it. That's DC save 50 D fails. Wait, what's wait, what's the modifier real quick? That's no, he fails. He looks offended, and he's shifting in place, so there's double offendedness to him. <laughs> it's like these two faces, like, what? Double offended his after image. <laughs> <laughs> he, looks, he looks insulted. You hurt his feelings. Uh, and I guess for my bonus action, I... I keep forgetting my bonus will action. Will... Inspire Borky. <gasps> nice. I could use it right now, like in real life. <laughs> uh, he's going. He's going to sing. Hey, that's a stupid fucking cat, and he don't know shit, and he don't know what it is to be sad. I Ready. agree. I agree. I agree with the coo dog. Coo dog. <laughs> All right. Nice. Six inspiration to you. Oh, who lives in who lives in a cave in a mountain? Can't tell where it fit. <laughs> Forty feet. Okay, Solly is going to grab the lantern. You got a stupid cat. Oh, okay. You must whip it. <laughs> oh my god. When you got a super cat, you must whip it. Dun da. Whip it good. Good. Marky, it's now your turn. Don't forget you have disadvantage. Borky. You know, you're still fighting it in a hole, by the by. Yeah. I know. Borky's very stubborn. Okay. Borky. <laughs> <laughs> you got like in a, like, kind of like a cat. Just like, let me out. Let me out. The whole time Borky's head's just been a hole for this whole goddamn fight. <laughs> <laughs> Borky, just fe feel it, feeling the inspiration. Because now that I have Bardic Inspiration, right? Does that mean I finally have Inspiration? Yeah, it means you yes. can use it on a roll. So roll, roll an attack. All right, Borky rears back his mighty dog maw. Twenty-one. Okay, so you That's don't even need you, you don't need to use the inspiration for this. You choose to use it. Okay, uh, and then Borky bites as hard as he can down on this stupid annoying kitty. Twelve. Twelve. There we go. You latch down onto the uh, kitty whippin's paw and screams out. You see it limping now kind of back into the hole. That's plus two because of rage as well. Where are you going? The party's out here. Spits it's doing out. that like... Oh, plus it's two. Doing that... Yeah, I forget I'm yeah, raging. I always forget that I'm raging. The cat, the cat makes that low like... Rawr, like that throaty sort Hello. of... Hello. <laughs> um, 
a story for another time. Well, uh, Task, it is now your turn. Hmm. I have a question. Does Hunter's Mark work for everyone else or just for me? I think. Uh, I believe it's just for you. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Piss. Okay. Uh, I, there's no way I am be able to reach this thing. But I do have a stupid idea, but I don't know how long it's going to be for this fight. But you I'm going dog. to... You I can am move dog. 40 feet, yeah. I can move 40 feet, but I am going to do something before moving 40 feet. Okay. I want to rip off one of the tentacles on the dead one. Okay. What would I roll for that? Um... You're going to rip it off. I'm going to say a strength check, because you're. are you going to try and tear it off? Yes. Okay, yeah, strength check then. Oh boy, my strength's not that great. Here we go. An eight, no. You grab it and you pull it. You manage actually to pull the body a little bit, but it's in there. Okay, well, fuck that. I guess we'll just move up. My plan was to, if I could take it off, I would hit it with it when I got to it. <laughs> The ultimate fuck you. <laughs> All right. That's, that's about as far as I can go. Greckles, it's now your turn. Still occupied with Borky? The... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a fight between me and it now. All right. Same tactic, although I'm going to move over. I'm going to do a jump here and then uh, to oh, the right, right of Borky and then bounce to the east wall. Okay. So we're going to go here, boom, and then make that. Busy bite. With disadvantage. With disadvantage of the day, so that's an 11 plus nothing, right? Plus nothing, you're not flanking. Yeah. So you go to swing with the dagger, and tink, tink, is where you see one of the paws, or no, you don't have a dagger, you're biting, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm doing the, the bite. <laughs> you imagine you're hitting with a dagger in your dreams. He's His larping. Are little daggers. You latch out with your jaws to snap at the the foot of the displacer beast, but just as you your your jaws are about to meet it, it just shifts out of the way. Every time it shifts, I imagine it does the Johnny Test whip whiplash sound effect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and that will end my turn. The cat is once again going to attempt to break the grapple. Plus and minus. And it does so. And it does so with. Bane. Three With minus three, minus four. That's a two. <laughs> it just wiggles. It can't do much. The cat's just shaking. <laughs> this tri these trial, these dog trials are crazy. By the way, I'm gonna decide what this beast wants to do. Above twenty, it's okay. No, it's gonna. It's too angry at you, Borky. Alrighty. Super pissed at Borky. First attack totally misses. Even, yeah. Second attack. That is a 24. Dang, that does hit. Which goes down to a 20 with the Bane. Bane! So that is... I was born! I'm out in the darkness. That is nine points of bludgeoning damage, cut down to four. Okay. And then one point of piercing damage. So just one point, I guess. So five damage again. So this is three turns, does five <laughs> damage every turn. No, it, no yeah. it's, it's missed one turn entirely. I'm down to 22. Jesus, he's just, he's nickel, he's literally nickeling and diming me to death. Well, he to, just to, keeps to, slapping you. Ah, <laughs> to, be, <laughs> to be fair, though, you are still four hit points above my max, so don't feel bad. Uh, exactly, which is why I'm just finding it funny that it's like, it's exactly five every time. It's like super hilarious. It's like, no, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. I'm going to bite your head off. I swear on your mom. Panic, it's now your turn. While continuing to hold the cat in my mouth. Not that hard. Also, by the way, the cat did have Dennis advantage too. No, it didn't. Because I thought I had uh, Mrs. Oh, that Bane. It had Bane. Oh, yep, I'm so sorry. Bane I mean, is I, different. I, I will be quiet. Yeah. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's all good. So while well, well, so the kitten is still dangling in my mouth, I'm just going to shake it around a little bit by its scruff and just just like kitten stew, kitten sandwiches. The possibilities are really endless. Meow. Meow. You're freaking cat murder. <laughs> I'm not, I haven't murdered a single thing since we got here. 
You you intimidated and debuffed a poor helpless kitten. How dare you? Okay, it passed its wisdom save, but it does still take the three points of damage. It kind of like sees you, but then sees like the giant mastiff in front of it and kind of snorts. It's not interested in you anymore. It's got an enemy in front of it. There goes that theory. It's just a D and D theory. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. No, you're not. Shut up. I, I am a little bit. Sully, Sully steps up, looks at the cat that you're holding, panic, kind of shrugs her dog shoulders and just like places down the lantern and turns and goes, I guess we just wait this out? Forky, it's now your turn. Shrugs. Forky is just, you know what? I'll be real with you guys. Forky's mad. Borky, Borky is like really, really feeling it. Borky, Borky's been slapped. He's being knocked down. He gets up again. He's being knocked down. He gets up again. He's being knocked out. He missed. Then he got knocked down. Now he's up again. It's time for Borky to go plus doggy. Although, are they never going to bring him down? <laughs> With shit. Borky. Borky. Nine. Nine. Miss. Bardic inspiration. Yeah. Roll, roll, a, roll that d6. Uh, I need roll a roll that six. I need a six. I need a six. E Roll. Ah! Five. That's, that makes it 14. You hit. I do? You do hit, yeah. Bite attack. A lucky Power of like. So can I, can I, I can click bite attack then, right? You can click bite attack. Yeah, you hit with the, with the syntax inspiration. Syntax error. No! <laughs> Is oh, that a syntax error? Ah! Yeah. Why? Ah! We've, it's no, phasing no, no, out. No, no ability found. Just roll the roll regs. Roll, roll 2d6. Panic barks the Curb Your Enthusiasm theme. Woof! <laughs> Woof! <laughs> oh, it's really good. Oh my that fucking shit, that's right. I still have Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> Seven points of damage. Plus five because of your strength. Plus, Plus two because of rage. That's 14. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Yeah! You guys watch as Borky disappears into the hole with the Displacer Beast, like full on tackles it. You hear some Looney Tune style, like bashing and screaming and biting and there's blood just spraying out of the hole, like just randomly, like kind of like a, like a sprinkler, like, you know, the <laughs> kind of sprinkler. And then Borky just emerges, just covered in blood, victorious. <laughs> All right, and next. Jaw right. right. drops in amazement and he goes, brutal. And that's how you make the hot dog. <laughs> Porky shakes his butt, all the blood off, spraying everywhere. It sprays everywhere, and like so he's like, oh, like kind of ducking away. <sighs> Going back to this displacer of peace. I'm not, I'm not leaving without that tentacle. Fine, get this one too, then. Porky just lies down. <sighs> I'm hurt. I'm beat up. I'm tired. Oh wait, you know what? Yeah, hold on a second. Healing. You're healing? How can you heal me? Because he has it. I have he it. Has it. Oh. I have that magic spell. I, oh, Bork is lying down breathing. <laughs> After a dog's gone for a nice long walk. That's... Cure light wounds. Plus my spell casting ability. So that's 1d8 plus 1. Uh, oh. That's 6 HP for you. Oh, thank you. We're back up to 28 now. Uh, All right, thank you, Ties. Back, back another, over here. By the way, after you're done, there's another bob in the hole. You gotta find it. I was really brutal to the animal. All right, so I'm gonna roll me what survival or what? No, uh, roll a strength check. Because you're trying to tear it off. My strength is garble. Fuck. Mm -hmm. You have friends who could help you. I get up here in a second. It's just. Yeah. God damn it. You grab yeah. and you yank. I, I like... know how to kill it, but I don't know how to fucking pull. Just, just chew on it. <laughs> Can he nibble chew on it very softly? I do have its tail. <laughs> you do have its tail. Uh, Borky, do you try to do the same thing with this displacer beast? Borky just gets up, puts his head in the hole, drags the corpse, which is mangled out, and just chops off. What do you want me to do, Tysk? Get the tentacle. Okay. Borky, can Borky bite the tip of the tail off? Yeah. Roll, roll, roll a strength Tentacle, check. not tail. I, sh I don't know. I don't know. Solly's Solly's gonna help you. She's gonna like hold the tail out so you have a better uh, chance uh, of so this. Just, you have advantage just, on the strength check. Strength check. Yeah. Twenty-two. There you go. All right. Go. 
you just take down your jaws and with the strength of your jaw, you just snap like anything that's in there. It's just gone. Like you just like chew right through it and you spit it out. You All guys right. have a tentacle. Put that shit in the bag. That will be super useful when we get back to town. Okay. Yeah, panic, look, panic motions down to the kitten still in his mouth. Uh, so what do I do with this thing? Put, put it down. Put it in the bag. <laughs> That'll it's kill it, Corky. Did I stutter? Yeah, oh. you did. Put it down. Panic, Panic slowly lowers the kitten to the ground. The cat just sits down and starts like cleaning itself from like all the blood. <laughs> starts licking it. Panic shrugs. There's something about it. it's just so condescending. So we can't we can't put living creatures in the bag of holding. You can, but oh, they can we put can we put die. dead creatures in the bag of holding? Yes. Want to? Yeah. Okay. Um, displacer beast cloaks are amazing i've heard so you probably uh, couldn't fit the entire displacer beast in there put it, it is in the really bag. really big <laughs> how big can the bag stretch <laughs> we, can, we can finagle this okay bag of holding let's oh, go let me, let me let me ask you this panic do you just want to walk in to the, lo okay. to the local leather smith and just dump a bag into a giant kitty corpses on his table the bag can hold up I'm... to 500 pounds not exceeding the volume of 64 cubic feet um... <laughs> are we really are we really putting a displacer beast corpse? breathing creatures inside the bag can survive up to a number of minutes equal to 10 divided by the number of creatures but it's not alive i see a bag of holding inside okay it doesn't say how big the opening is Therefore... you know what Fine, you guys. You, you're... Stretch it and just like everybody. One, mark all the but two displacer beasts. <laughs> yeah. Roll a strength check, all of you, everybody. This Let's is gonna be a great go. effort. And to answer your question, eighteen. Yes, Seven. I'm sure, I'm sure a leather worker would Six love to work with this fur. Oh my God, we two. Oh <laughs> man. I'm sorry, wait, but the hunt, wait, wait, the wait, hunt wait. has invigorated wait, wait. me. Look. <laughs> Look at look at that modifier. You see that? What the hell is that? One, plus one. What? what? What the hell is that? Why is that a thing? Why is Solly? I don't know. I, I my strength is minus one. Solly plus Solly has money? a plus two strength modifier. That shouldn't be that way. Oh boy. Also, guys, okay. you roll a strength save. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, well I just. To three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah! my, my, my my fucking like. When, when when fucking panic goes put it in the bag, you just see fucking panic's eyes widen, and he's like, "Yes!" I just Throws imagine imagine your legs are like Roadrunner's legs, like like pushing it in. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what's happening. The rest of you are just like kind of having a hard time figuring this out, and just like task like gets to the butt end of it and just starts like just yeah, even to the point where Rock is kicking up. This and... is gonna be so good. <laughs> It's horrifying, but it works. Oh, okay, on to the next one. <laughs> can, can we do we roll strength well, checks on the next one now? Yeah, I'm gonna have to roll these differently, apparently. I don't know. What's while they do that, I want to mage hand the hole as far back as I can to feel if there's anything else in there. Oh, that's a save. Sorry, that's, sorry, that's a save. An 18 strength. Oh my god. 12 strength. Borky's tired. Solid 18. 17. You're you're determined to get both displacer beasts in that bag. Fuck yes, oh. I am. <laughs> Put them in the bag. Uh, in the displacer bag. Displacer beast fur is amazing. Okay, yeah, you guys managed to just like shoop it into the bag. Boys, we're gonna be rich and we're gonna be full of fucking magic MacGuffinry. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get back to town first. Uh, dude, I don't give a shit. This is good. We gotta be not dogs first, so let's let's well, focus I mean, on. I mean, right. I, mean, I, I mage I mage handing the north the northern hole. Do I feel anything thirty feet back? You feel around. It's a deep hole. Uh, nothing else. I'm checking out this door. Okay, the cat Bork. just leaves. <laughs> just bye. Just turns cat. around. Bow, jumps inside the hole. Get out of here, cat. As the cat disappears, bloop, the pug reappears, hovering atop the door. Hello. Oh. We passed the test. You passed the trial of dog. The second trial of dog. Mm -hmm. Now comes the third trial of dog. I see the final the one. Har 
It is the final one, my friend. High five, guys. We're going to practice this text. Please give don't me paw. high five your dog. Give me paw. Give me paw. Woogity, 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 woogity. The pug's eyes, like, pierce slight, and then he boops out of existence, and the door <laughs> begins to open. Oh. I thought it was growling for a second. Me too. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna jump up here and do my stealth thing. Alrighty. All right, let's, let's roll Nine that whole stealth. Good let's, me. Let's roll that perception. All right, you look in and you see a small chamber. 23 perception. Oh, it's him. Oh. oh, please put me behind. <laughs> Get Welcome to the final trial of dog. B B can Borky hold up his paw? One second. Borky reaches his head into the uh, the the bag of uh, the bag of holding, and pulls out uh, two potions of light wounds. Just one sec. Hold on. Can you can you can you can you be a good dog for a sec? Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. Borky Borky drinks both uh, potions of light wounds. How do you get the cork off? I what? mage hand it off. You mage hand the corks off. Okay. okay. Borky doesn't even need to ask because like <laughs> panic is there. Sorry, sorry. Ugh. Grackles is there. Hey. And panics are there. They, they both pop it off. Watch a second. And the Popeye the, the Sailor Man theme music goes off here. How, how, how does? How, how, how do, what do I roll for the light wounds? What do I roll for? Uh, light? it's two d four plus four if you're using the potions you got from Willow. Now, question: Are you using your own potions? Yes, these are the ones okay. I have in my bag. Okay. I imagine right. you just take one of your big dumb teeth, you stick it into the cork, and you just start <laughs> running circles around it. <laughs> like a wild. Uh, you you break the you break the neck of the bottle and then just thing. Eight. So I'm up to thirty six. Uh, it's eight okay. points. I'm up to thirty six. And can I do the second one too? Yeah, if you want to. I'm gonna want to. Put the in the bag. And roll again, and that's nice. 10. We're up to full health now. We full health tip club now. Are you done drinking your beverage? Yeah, it's been a long day. I'm just, just a lot of syntax errors, you know? It's just... <laughs> I don't know what that is. I said something, someone, someone said once, it's fine. Anyways, yeah, we're good to go. We're good, we're good guys? Good? Good? As you, uh, yeah, yes, as you can yeah. see, Borky has had a fine taste of his balls potion. Mm, yeah. Mm, as dogs, it is a normal day-to-day -day routine to... Well, you know. No. Oh. Well, what? What's the, <laughs> what's the third trial? The third trial of dog is the impossible trial, for even I have never been able to complete it. Well, if you can't complete it, then doesn't that mean that you're not a good enough leader for this? Mm, silence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> Since the day of my birth onto this material plane, I have been seeking an answer for eternity, how it plagues my kind. So now I ask you the final trial of dog, mm -hmm. the final question, it, who's, who's a boy? good boy? Yes! Ah, oh, Task is gonna just fucking put his paw to his face. It's you. What? Yeah. You're a good boy, Pug. Yeah, you're a good boy. You've been a very good gentleman, and you haven't tricked us yet. Who's the a pug good explodes. boy? You what? are. <laughs> what? Yes, you are. What? Yes, he... you are. He explodes, and it's not like a giant explosion sound. It sounds like someone, like, blasting a paper bag. Like, someone just filled up a paper bag and just, like, bap! And he just explodes. Into the well... Bag. Well, mission accomplished, boys. What? Are we back to normal now? Uh, you guys, wait a minute. And as the little pieces of really crappy confetti land to the ground, <laughs> uh, you all collapse. Uh, and as you awaken after a very sore slumber, I guess, you wake up and you are once again yourselves. I put all my shit on. Yes, let's get everything back on. Yeah. Are we naked? <laughs> No, our clothes melded. Our no, your melded clothes melted to you. The only one who. Damn. I've um... never, I've never <laughs> wanted a moment animated so much. <laughs> I've never wanted a moment. 
What? It just ex like, like literally, it's, you li it's literally the Futurama at, bit. Yeah, it's literally no, no, nice to meet what? you. We've met before. What? <laughs> 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 um, all of you have your items on. Yeah. Uh, what is the, what oh, is the God. statue, by the way? Uh, you can examine it if you'd like to. Roll an investigation check. Yes, I'd please. love. I'd oh, love yeah. to. <laughs> A nineteen. It is doggish in nature. It's very, very old. It looks like it hasn't been taken care of, and looks like it actually had been destroyed physically. Panic is going to walk up to the dog statue and Mage Hand pat it on the head. Oh, that's nice. All right, well, no time like the present. <laughs> Wait, check contract. Check contract. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Pockets. We have those again. Yes, I can read it. Your contract for the spider killing has been completed. What about the, the town? The contract for checking on the town won't be completed until you, you get a report. Hey, uh, Panic, do you think you could have a look at that, uh, seagull statue? Oh, yeah. Uh, present it to me. I present I it. Borky, I pulls out gri Borky pulls out Gripples and pets him. Now, I know I was going for a while, Gripples, and I was a dog for a bit. But I think you have a new brother. It is my brother. Oh, it's crazy. Present me the object. And I, I shall I, find I, its oh, nature. It's I hand it over. All right. Panic you folks. have the seagull in your hand, the ivory seagull. I cast identify. All right, this is the seagull of annoy person. It's a one-time <laughs> use item. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the seagull of annoy person. <laughs> <laughs> when you use right. this item, you place it on the ground and it transforms into a seagull. You then point at a target at least a hundred feet within your range, and the seagull will attack and annoy that person for an hour before explode, like just disappearing. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll, wonderful I'll, I'll things! Handle. I'll I'll handle. I'll I'll hang on to that. Very well. All right. Well, enough pussyfooting around. Let's go check on the town. Guys, 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 stop for a second. Can we what? just can? We, can we just take a moment here and uh, just reflect on today? Like we Borky, do you do you see this? Do you see this? What is it? Task holds up his hand. Yeah, it's, what is the hand? L look very closely. Yeah, what's wrong with your? What's going on? What's going on? It, Task puts his hand right up against his face <laughs> and scrunches his fingers on his face, like in a grasping mode. I can do this. The reflection here is, is that fingers are a godsend. I Borky agree. Does the same, Borky does the same thing to Panic's face. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm I go agree. On, I'm going to go Panic. check on Sully. Panic Sully, oh, I'm sorry. Sully is not in her armor. Um, she's in clothes. Uh, they're not very nice clothes. They also look very old. Um... And she's like got her hand kind of on her neck, and she's just kind of like stretching out a bit. She's not wearing like shoes or anything either. And she kind of just doesn't really say anything. She just kind of looks. She seems like really like this was a day. Like this was not something I was expecting to happen. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. The dog exploded. Yeah, this has been quite an adventure. Yeah. Um, I left my armor behind. Did you guys grab her armor actually? We no. put it in the bag. We, oh yeah, we, we did. The bag? Yeah, we did. We you did. We we said we put all items we could that yeah. did not fall okay. to us in the bag. Yeah, she looks. She goes, "Can I? Can I have my armor back? Actually, hand it back." Just, okay. You begin to. Borky's still holding Panic's face, just kind of like 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 dri like dipping it out. All of a sudden, the armor just bangs out. Your hands like dirt. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm still cackling at that. I just can't believe how smooth your hand is, like touching a dolphin. Uh huh. <laughs> you mean face? Yeah. Uh, all right, guys. All right, guys. I'm leaving. Once you're done feeling each other up, come meet yeah, up with. Yeah, me. let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, I want to oh, check, oh, oh, check oh, on the townsfolk real fast. Right, can, we, like, can, we, can we inspect the room? Can I just investigate the room see if there's anything like worth taking with us? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going. Borky's just like wants to look around. He kind of looks at the head and kind of looks around, wonders if there's anything else he could find. So, what? What should I like? Like perception check? Investigation. Investigation. Nine, ooh, 17. Okay. 
Uh, I'll, I'll watching him do this. I'll drop as well. Ooh, big old seven. Never mind. Uh, you 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 look around and your dog instincts make you kind of sniff around a bit. That's just kind of orky, actually. <laughs> uh, you find an old leather. It looks like a belt. Hmm. Leather belt. Oh. Five strength, five stamina. Oh, oh. Um. <laughs> you look at it, and as you look at it, you flip it over, and there's a metal piece attached to it. It's very, very old, hmm. and it says pug on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trophy. Yeah, it is. Borky, Borky takes it. Hey, guys, spinning it on his finger. To remember him by. Oh, yes, because he's completely worth remembering. Let's go. I want, I'd want. i set that on fire if I were you. Wait Let's go. Oh, no, Wait no. a minute. Well, Panic. Panic's going to take the belt. Yeah. He's going to, he's going to like take the face slicer and sort of scrape the U out from underneath the, from the leather. He's gonna put it on. He's gonna see, P G, Panic Grim Tongue. Everything <laughs> that you ought is P G. <laughs> I'm a little surprised you guys didn't want to save that for Tarisk. I agree. No, this was funnier. Tenek furiously <laughs> plays his guitar. Let him, let him have this. I don't mind. You're the dog now, uh, man. As you guys leave, Solly kind of stays behind and uh, kind of waits till you guys leave the room and then starts putting on her armor. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. What? No, I'm not going to do it. You do, do it. All right. Well, I'm going to stealth, not to peep. But to see if she does anything weird, because after she started chanting under her breath, I find that a little... Nah. Oh good, a whole eight. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Accidentally... <laughs> As you, you kind of sneak in to, to see what's going on, Solly no. takes her hand off of her, her neck and where her neck meets her shoulder, and you see a large, deep brand. Oh, my brand. As if someone had stamped her with basically heated iron. A metal poker, yeah. Oh, God, can I do a... I, I would assume this would be a knowledge... Uh, re um... Not Which... so much knowledge religion. I'd say... You know, what would this a, even be? A history or a straight intelligence Just check? Just straight intelligence check, I think, for this. 18. Okay. You know that in some societies, branding is done to shame someone. Often as punishment. Oh. And she puts on the armor, and as she does, she turns and she does catch your eye, and she stops. And she just looks at you. Why didn't you tell me? They thought I was going to go crazy, too. Oh, and sorry. she puts the helmet on and she walks past you. I follow her out. All right, you guys, I assume, it, leave the Cave of Dog. Go back to town. Okay, to town. as you guys leave the Cave of Dog, you hear this rumbling noise, and you watch as the cave begins to, like, basically collapse within itself, like a black hole, and then <laughs> disappears. Nice way. Amazing. What a fun day with that. One time. last honorary awu to the cave. Oh, you don't want to miss about being a dog, guys. Tat what? I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> Let's go back to town now. <laughs> As you guys walk, uh, Task, you feel something envelop your head. Fucking what now? Something envelops your head. <laughs> what? <laughs> you look up and you see Solly placing her helmet on your head. Oh. Um. <laughs> thank you. That was scary. <laughs> she gives a nod. She looks very tired. <clears throat> Task was like, oh, um, okay. Thanks. Just keeps going. Right, like, he, guys... he, he, he gives her acknowledgement, but he's just like, you, you like, you, I, I assume. <gasps> oh, oh, whoa, you cut out there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. That actually fits into it because he was just going to go, he was like, going to stop short and just go, like, what the fuck? Oh. Should, should we should we have should we have nature sounds now? I probably the cave is now dead somehow.
the king <laughs> died. I said, this, what? <laughs> hey, man, we still... Guys, wait, the cave just disappeared. Check the bag. Do we still have the bodies? Uh, Borky, you reach your hand into the bag and you feel the leathery, just, gooey just, corpses Borky of just the placer just, beast. Borky just keeps going. Just hands totally, like, caressing something in the bag. You can tell he's going for long strides. Just pulls it out, dri dripping red with blood. Yeah, it's still in there. Okay, good. I think I'm all going to have to clean everything after this. We can worry about that afterwards. Mm. All right. As you guys make your way back into the deep, uh, the deep wood settlement, you hear children crying. And you oh. see Emmett now, a man again. Uh, very nice, kind of kind of dark tan skin. He's got nice black hair pulled back. He's got an earring in one ear. And he's wearing a set of workmen's like leather working clothes. And he runs up to the edge of town. He sees you approaching. He stops and he gives you a big wave. Task not uh, task like just kind of like half heartedly waves back and then heads over. I'm gonna try and hide from these people. Okay. Social interaction. 20, 20, 20, 22 stealth. Okay, you go to hide, and as you do, Sully turns and goes, Greckles, I need... Uh, Greckles? Oh, um... Do I hear that? Uh, you're too busy jumping into bushes. Uh, she turns to you, Borky. Uh, Borky? Yeah, what's up? Do you have, like, a jacket or something in there? No. Wait, <laughs> well, hold on. Yes, I... Do you want it forever, or, like, for a little bit? Uh, I think just for a little bit, if that's okay. Oh, okay. Borky pulls out his twin wolf moon outfit. Oh. Ooh. Um. Yeah. Is it, what does it do? Um. I. Do you have anything a little bit more discreet and cloak like? Uh, that's lovely. I've got some boots of magic I mean... dancing, two crossbows, anti venom. Uh. Uh, Gripples, do you want him? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have commoner's clothes, Borky. Yeah, that's what you do. It's not it's not going to fit her, but it's going to at least like be a mantle enough. I just need it for and she kinda waves around her head. Tass gives her the commoner's clothes. Okay. She like basically does like a cowl kind of over her head. Yeah, that's fair. And you guys, I assume, approach Emmett. Yep, approach while Emmett. Jumps in the trees like the ninja uh, is. I I'm I'm one part's very spited against this town for what they put us through, unwilling. And uh, one part, I don't trust them at all, so. Okay. Okay. Emmett, like, the moment you guys show up, Emmett, like, turns and he grabs the, whoever's closest to him, who, who's kind of leading the pack here. Task. Oh, me, I guess. All right, he reaches down and he grabs your hand. He gives you the most firm handshake and he, like, puts his other hand on the other side of your hand. He just shakes you, like, almost shaking your entire body. He's like, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, bless the gods. Oh. I, I suppose. Well, at least now you could at least. Well, I guess we don't need explanation as to what was going on since past. It's good to see that we're. I mean, is everyone else in town back to their normal selves? He turns around and you see the children are currently crying. They're like, "I wanted to be a dog forever." And the mother's like, her, the mother has her her arm now slinged because it was broken. Um, right. Emily, <laughs> thanks to what, panic. What, what about Tarisk? Uh, Tarisk is there, and the kids are like one. One kid is like on his back, like kind of playing on his back, and the other two children are currently wailing to their mother about not being a dog anymore. <laughs> you do see a cobalt, a yellow cobalt as well, wearing an apron, kind of leaning up against one of the small buildings, and you see the 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 um the one dog that was a dwarf, just looks really beside himself. He's just like mur, mur, like. Meh. Well, well, again, back to Emmett. So everyone else in town's pretty much back to normal. Yeah, seems like. I got my fingers back. And go back to chopping wood for the uh, for Alavast and the army. Well, well, you, I, uh, oh, chopping for Alavast. Where? What did you do? Uh, wait. I'm sorry. What did? He, what was his profession again? I, I spoke. I cut out a little bit. They're woodsmen. They're, they're they they gather timber to send into town. Speaking of which, I'd like you to do something with found ability. Because Task puts. Tass puts up the uh, contract. We were sent here to check and see if this town was okay. My giving us a small little note of uh, reference that. Can you oh, this? can you leave? Oh, a, Mr. Can, can you leave a, leave a nice review of our service? Oh, certainly. Uh, one, one second. Let me grab my my Alavastian pen. Five stars, please. 
while they're doing this, in celebration, Panic is going to walk out into the center of town. And he's going to play Dogs of War by Lighted Shred Floyd. That's good. Oh, Roll go. a performance check. I think everyone's going to hate the fact that you play something about dogs after what just happened, but go for it. Whatever. <laughs> 12. That's a 12? That's a 12. Some people are like, the kids like it, and they actually stop crying, and they're like, oh, there's a bard. Like, yay. And like, once the one kid gets off Taras, Taras like, thank God. And he gets up, and he walks <laughs> over to you, Taras. <laughs> um, the, the adults seem a little like, what? Like, irritated. irritated. And the dwarf is just like, he, you could cook an egg on his forehead. He looks just <laughs> absolutely <laughs> pissed. I'm oh. sorry, but, but an angry dwarf is always a good time, no matter oh, what the feels context good to is. Play again. <laughs> All right. Uh, eventually, Emmett comes out of his house. He comes out with a, uh, a piece of paper, and he also comes out with a really intricate-looking pen that you remember um, Stenden, the paladin, and yes. Doros had on them. And he comes out, and he walks out, and he's like, uh, could I see your contracts, please? Yep, hands off. Perfect. And yeah. he signs yeah. off the additional quest. And then he hands you a letter. Mm. And he goes, I think that this is reason enough that we should have... A wizard in our company. It would have been if you a, ask me, he would have been a dog wizard, though. <laughs> I wizard know all that's the same. no. I that's a fair assumption. We'll bring this uh, when we get back to town. We'll bring this to some of our higher con and see if we can pull some strings to get you a wizard out here. That would be excellent. You've done so much for us already. Um, I ensured that you would get bonus pay with delivering this as well. Well, thank you very much. Mm. Ah, yes, and there's it's just. There's just one more thing, and uh, Panic is going to take a little aside with Emmett. He's going uh, to say, well, listen, we uh, we saved your whole town from being dogs. Mm -hmm. You were uh, you were trapped yeah. in your houses, unable to open the doors, mm -hmm. correct? Or he's kind he of nodding, I, or I he's you nodding do, as well. I want you to do me a favor. Okay. Everyone who comes through this town from this day forward, if they inquire about bards, you tell them that Panic Grimtongue is the best god's damn bard in the realm. Roll a persuasion check. I'm actually not trained in persuasion. Huh. Really? 18. All right. He gives you kind of a nod. He goes, you know what? He, he grabs your shoulder and it's super manly. He like, grabs your shoulder and he squeezes it and he goes, you got oh. yourself a deal. And if you guys don't mind, I'd like to partake in seeing what the story is with the other kobolds. Go for it. Right on. I'm just spying on everything, so... Alrighty, Tat. Uh, I, I guess, like, the kobolds near where the fucking dwarf... Nah, he's, like, in his own building. He's, like, kind of separated from the group. You noticed as he was a dog, he was also kind of quiet? Yeah. So, Task will, uh... Task will approach him. He pulls a pipe out of his mouth and just kind of, like, taps it over the side of a uh, railing on the house mm. and then cleans it out with his thumb. Hail, Red Scale. Hail, ten scale. You're a long way from foam. Mm, that goes without saying. What about you, though? I hear that, well, to be fair, uh, tan scales mingling with those of other races is not uncommon. Nah. Nah, just trying to find good work in the meantime. What is your work? I'm a woodcarver. I make signs and things. Hmm, you don't say. Yeah. Honestly, if you ever want any work done, I'll do it for free. I mean, you changed me back, so it's the least I could do. We might take you up on that offer, actually. Uh, there might be there might be uh, some carpeting work that might be very useful to our bar over in Alavast. Well, if you want anything, just send the order in through Timber, and I'll have it sent out as soon as I can. Hi, right, thank you. And Task, like, gives, like... <laughs> Task kind of gives the kobold salute by grabbing the shoulder. Uh, not the shoulder, uh, grabbing the, uh, the, uh, el like, grabbing the, like, you know, the part of the elbow instead of, like, just the wrist. He, he, he reacts to it, like, he does it back to you. Oh, radical. All right, cool. Yeah. He's yep, chill. So He's just a chill dude. Yep, so there you go, kids. We're getting us a sweet dragon sign. Also, oh, what is your name, by the way? Timber. Oh, it's just straight up Timber. All right, fair yeah. enough. All right. They call me and Tim for short, but I hate it, because that's a human name, and I'm not a big fan of human names. I... Well, you'll be get it. You'll be receiving an order from one known as Mighty soon. 
Sounds good. Uh, is, I'll is make it, sure to do my best work. Hey, Zito, can you hop out, hop back in? You're cutting out a little bit. Hi. Because of all those balls there he was he drinking. He had too many I, 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 I was displacing in and out of existence because of the sweet balls. Mm, <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, the rest of the town folks seem to kind of mingle and talk to each other and like immediately kind of set in to like make food and and work on stuff. Uh, are you guys going to stay here for the night? Are you guys wanting to head home? Let's. How, uh, how far away is home? It's pretty far. Yeah, it's a couple days travel. I think we should we should uh, rest here. <sighs> well, let, let's take a rest here and then head out. Very well. And the kids appear to be like around Solly. Like, why do you have a shirt on your head? I I literally walk over there and shoo them away. Get out! The kids scream like, "There's a giant chicken!" and they run. <laughs> I just, you know what I do? You know what I do? I mimic, I mimic like the most horrible screeching, like chicken eagle, like. <laughs> Roll an intimidation a... check. Hang on a second. I'll give you advantage too. Because it was just out of nowhere. maximum Bach um, plus Bach. Seventeen. The children just scream and run into the house. And the mother, like, has this moment of, like, that jerk, and then looks up and goes, you know what, they probably deserved it. <laughs> and then so she kind of goes into this, goes into her house. How's Tarisk, by the way, in all this? He's fine. Still eyes in two different directions. It looks like he had, like, he'd been played with a bit. He looks tired. You notice Sorry. that there's some crayon on one side of his body. I was, I was hoping that someone drew something on him. That's what I was expecting. What, roll for perception. I want to know what it is. <laughs> okay. That's investigation, I think. Oh, is it for investigation? Yep. Investigation. Six. Yeah. Seventeen. Borky. It's beautiful abstract art. Mm. I'll Priceless. Get, I'll get this. Uh, <laughs> task, it, it appears to be a picture of Tarisk itself and, like, the kids. Drawn on Tarisk by the kids. <laughs> It's pretty horrible. It doesn't, like, the texture of the scales makes, like, the lines all weird and wobbly. You can tell the crayon was pressed in too hard. Oh, Jesus, Task, like, will takes like, I don't know, I guess Task will take, like, a piece of other cloth that he has in his bag and start cleaning him up. You vigorously try and clean it off. It's wax. So it's oh, a little hard. Son of a bitch. All right, well, I guess this is my job for the rest of the night. Sully, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just kids. They like the armor. They think I'm like a knight or something, I guess. No, well, aren't you? No, I'm not. That's not mm. what you were mumbling under your breath not too long ago. She gives you a look. And you've, you've known Sully for a bit. Mm -hmm. She gives you a look. And it actually, I don't know how this will make Greckles feel. She looks angry at you. Ooh. Okay. She looks like she will punch you. Like she would punch you right now. So you can be mad at me all you want, but until you come clean about literally everything, there's not much we can do for you. She gonna give you some kitty whippings. <laughs> <laughs> she looks at you and she goes, there's nothing anyone can do anyway. So it doesn't matter. Does it? Sully, we just got done being dogs, for God's sake, and you don't think we can't do anything? She turns and looks to you. How do you kill a god? Do I hear this? Roll of perception. Ooh! Bonding time with task! Juicy. No! <laughs> Damn it. Oh well. You don't hear I don't it. hear shit. Okay. You're like mother God damn it, wax crayons, stupid was that, kids. That, that was a crit fail? <laughs> yep, that crit was a crit fail. fail. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, we don't know, but we're definitely looking on trying to figure that out. Hey, Task! Aye, what up? She wants to know if we can kill a god. What a coincidence. I'd like to know how to kill one myself. Maybe we could put it in the bag. Porky holds up the bag. <laughs> As an eyeball droops out. <laughs> like a tendril comes out, slops yeah. onto the ground, yeah, and like the dwarf is like, oh my god. I get back in there, get <laughs> <laughs> Sully, Sully, 
I've heard tales of mortals doing great things, and yes, even killing gods. In fact, we've got one on our hit list right now. If you believe in us, we can make it happen. Sully's quiet for a while. Like she's in deep contemplation. Mm -hmm. We start by burning down this village. Why the village? Borky holds up his hand. Um. No, Borky, put it down. Why the village? Because then they'll be afraid. And then they won't want to worship anymore. That's how you kill a god. You make people not want to worship it anymore. Well, if that's the case, then do we even know if they follow Orin? Anyone under the light follows Orin. Oh, for fuck's sake! Sully, don't you dare do this. Roll a persuasion check. 18. Solly, like, snaps out of it almost. She shakes her head. Uh, sorry. That was... Tell um, me that wasn't you. I, I don't know. Well, I have a theory, boys. She's possessed. Possessed. You clearly just snapped out of some kind of weird dreamlike state where you tried to burn this entire place to the ground. He's right, Sully. You did. Yes. You did. She kind of like, like you see her hand reach into the cloak and she kind of rubs her face. I think I need to find a temple. One that hasn't been desecrated. Do you know of anyone that's nearby? She turns to the people, the townspeople. They might. Well, stay here. We'll go ask. Tass, can you look after her? I'll keep and an I, eye on her, yes. I, I give a wink, because I know what's at stake, and I know what you would do. Mm. I'm going to run up to the townsfolk and ask if there's a Temple of Orin nearby anywhere. Okay. Uh, as he goes to do that task, Solly just slumps down onto the uh, front step of one of the houses. I'm giving you a benefit of the doubt here, because I'm starting to believe that this is not of your own mind. I had a weird dream a few nights ago. Of? A weird man. Usually it's a different man. But this there... time it was different. Oh. Were there multiple eyes involved? He was a white tiefling. A white tiefling? Did he give you a name? No. He just said that he... He wanted to give me what I want. Nine times out of ten, when a stranger invites you with candy, you don't take the candy. Hmm. That's unfortunately how this happened. Task takes off the helmet and kind of just, like, motions where his skull is. Remember that helmet that used to be here? Yeah, that was still Havity's doing. That's yep. why I wish to kill a god. He offered it to me. The What, the helmet? Yeah, he said he could give it back to me to give to you. Yeah, don't accept that he's playing with you. Nothing could ever bring back what was lost. Yeah. Some Something of that kind of value I wouldn't want back. When I get back to town, I plan to move forward with something new. Uh, you go around and you ask the people and they tell you the only temple would probably be in Alavast. Okay. Then I'll just run back as fast as I can. Just let me know when I get there. You do realize that I should tell everyone about this white tiefling you've seen, yes? Probably for the best. All right, so long as you're giving me consent on it. When, uh, well, I guess Greckles will get back there. 
I'm bolting. All right, well, let's wait for him to get back then. Greckles, it seems that we have a little bit of enlightenment. Do tell. Apparently, there's a white tiefling that's been plaguing Sully's visions. Oh, was it offering it something? I apparently... It was trying to offer the helmet that I lost. Panic is still around in the town. Does Would he overhear this? At this point, all you guys have kind of come together, I assume, at this point. Panic... Uh like puts his hand on puts his hand on his chin for a moment. He's like white tiefling. It's there weird. was something about that in that smuggler's letter. Smuggler's letter. In Delmar's hideout. Let me see if I still have it. And he rummages rummages through his uh uh his stuff. Would I still have it? Have uh it's one? if you any document you guys have would be in past red documents. I mean, would Panic still have the letter on his person? I think that was taken away as evidence. Oh, it was taken away as evidence, actually, yeah. All right, well, then then he recalls from memory. It's like, uh, uh, it's, it's something about, they they mentioned a white tiefling. Bright and it, orange and yellow eyes. Sound something familiar, Sully? Voice. Sully nods. Well, still have it. He has a... Uh longer reach than we anticipated if this is sounding to seem that way. It's not uncommon for godly creatures to enter dreams in different forms. Is that why you need to see to visit the temple to get it out of your head? I guess if it's possible. Hmm. Well, or we picked up in the temple. If crap. that's him. I think we need to go back. To the temple? Sully nods. So he can fuck with our minds even further? It's it's flooded with... Whatever kind of energy that was. I was gonna say bad guy stuff. Yes, bad guy stuff. Not so much of it. So if much of it. If he's possessing the temple, if he has control of it, he has access to her. Okay, I, but I'm going to throw my hands up here and say that then that's probably a bad idea that she gets anywhere close. Because if he's controlling the temple, and the temple has a lot of sway over her, that means, and no offense, Sully, when I say this, she could turn on us. I actually am a little inclined to agree after what just happened. Hmm. We need to find someone who knows how to at least keep clerical magic at bay, or at least be able to take, I don't know, evil. Don't the humans have some kind of spell like that? Something that wards evil away, specifically? I don't think that's its name, but I would assume so. Sully, do you know of any order that would have you... Have oh, me. God, what's, what's, what's the word? I'm sorry. I just lost it. Like, take, take her in, like, take her yeah. in, essentially. Um, a, There's uh, sanctuary. Yes. Sorry. I lost it. <laughs> Um, Solly kind of shakes her head. Um, I want you to roll an intelligence check or a knowledge religion of your choice. Who be this? That goes for all of you guys. You okay. can pick one or the other. Let's see, my religion or... What, what was uh, oh, the world? oh, wait. Okay, I rolled an 11. Okay. For religion? For religion. Okay. Yeah, all you guys can roll this, by the way. 15. 15. Eleven. Thinking about all the people you've met, um, you recall two people. You recall when you were going to see Willow in prison, uh, there was a temple to Orin there. It was very small. You remember the guy was outside sweeping the stoop set. And you seemed friendly. You seemed very nice. You also know Brork as well. Brork's looking for her. But at this point, we're running out of options. We either sneak her into town, or we just get Bork. Simple. We go. Simple. We go to. We go to this Orin temple and ask if they're part of the United Orin clergy. If they're not, we're fine. Do you think you can, ta task looks over to uh, Sully? Do you think you can keep these 
weird little inklings of destroying shit out of your head for at least a couple of days travel? I don't know. This is We different. don't exactly have much of a choice. That the further we get away from that temple, the better off I think we'd be. Mm. You had a dream to go to that temple, didn't you? I did. Who told you to go? Solar. Solar? My dad. Yeah, that's still having fucking with your mind. He does it all the time. It was okay, different. we... Yeah, we have a well. Then we have a bigger problem here. You are being hounded by this thing to do his bidding. We need someone who has a higher say in religious crap, and someone that knows how to take care of demon speak out of your head. This is out of our realm of expertise. We need someone who can do this. To and the, that's what we're doing as soon as we get into town. To the religion district. Shit, <laughs> is there? Yeah, the lower clergy district. That's also where the prison is. <laughs> out of the mouths of Borkies. <laughs> I think, we should, I think we should try to follow up on this white tiefling as well. Mm. I remember from the letter something about Canary's Perch. Mm. Tanscale. I have a name. Timber. Is I it, thank apologize. You. Is it Tim? <laughs> no. Tim. Tim. Don't, don't mind him. You need patience with him. Timber, I, arc, I figure. I, I, figure. I apologize. Uh, do, what was the name of the place? Canary's what? Canary's, Canary's Perch. Perch. Yes, Canary's Perch. Do you know of any location called Canary's Perch? Yeah, that's a small island in the canal leading up into the main central district of Alabast, like the city. Does Task have a map on him? Because I remember we did get one in some regard. Yeah, you, you pull out and you look and you see Canary's Perch. It's like it's kind of like a large river that comes into the mainland, kind of like a bay. Mm. Um, and in like kind of the center of it is this tiny little island and you see it noted as Canary's Perch. And Timber points to it and goes, yeah, that's a trade kind of district place. People stop there. Apparently there's a lot of smuggling problems, but eh, he shrugs. An off post, eh? Hmm. Well, I say this is our plan then, gentlemen. Hmm. Sully, I apologize, but this is the only way we can make sure that you are safe. And if something does happen, there will be a lot of people around town who actually knows how to handle the situation. We keep you in town while we go investigate Canary's Perch. Here. No, Alavast. Hmm. Alavast. I don't okay. like it. I don't like it. I'm sure you don't like it as much as I do, but we are completely out of options, and it's the safer choice, not just for us, but for you as well. Task is showing, but and this is out of character, Task has just shown her that he cares about her well-being. You best take this in effect. She nods. She looks, she's got like a thousand yard stare. There, You can tell there's something more off about her. And like, there's that moment, like you can see like almost as if she's replaying a memory in the back of her head, like just over and over again. So, and she nods, she nods. She like looks up and she nods. And she's like, okay, 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 we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay, then. <sighs> That's our plan. Go back to town, get someone in the religion in the uh, clerical district to take care of this, and then we go investigate Canary's Perch. We could al also ask you know who for some information, but uh, I think we should Do save we that for a last resort kind of thing. And also, it's a smuggler's den. We should speak to uh, Arvry Man. Oh, that 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 hot piece of whatever it feels like. If they got smuggling issues, who Thank better you. to know about the smuggling ring than someone at the Thieves Guild? The smugglers themselves. They'll want to kill us. I, I I just want to be included right now. I'm just off all over my head right now. Well, if anyone else has another plan, I'm open ears, but I think we already got what we should do. I agree. Yes, I agree as well. I, I am very easily convinced of going with the mob, so let's do it. You got a treat, Forky. Damn right I am. Eat up. <laughs> Alright, so it's settled. We rest here and then head back to Alavast. Solly nods. Well, let's act. Let, let's activate our resting sequence. Alright. Unexpectables, yeah. go! Morky just, just goes, good night. 
they give you guys like a nice they have like this little tiny cabin that's kind of like a multi-use cabin for visitors or whoever kind of comes in and they give that to you guys they also give you a totally home-cooked meal and they gave you guys some food for your your venture back you guys all gain two rations oh excellent. radical Woo. up to five rations uh, and they basically give you it's a nice little cabin. It's got like basic like wooden bunks to it, so you'd have to use your bedrolls on it. Uh, and there's like a fireplace in the middle and the floor is dirt. That's all it is. But it's nice. It's definitely it's a roof over your head. So it's, it's camping. Uh Sully, right. do you have a minute? She's like resting on her back on one of the uh one of the bunks and she kind of lifts her hand up and goes, "Yeah." Well, question, are really fast out of character. Are we all in the same hut house thing? I assume so, yeah. It's kind okay, of Okay, then open... then never mind. Okay. I want I want you to promise me if you have another nightmare, you wake me up immediately. Okay. All right. Uh, she slumps down back onto the uh, the bunk. And Task holds up a hand as well. Remember, don't take candy from the stranger. I'll try not to. Hey, Task. Hey, I, I'm whispering this to him. I. Do you think we need to take shifts and watch her? That'd be the smart thing to do. I agree. All right, I'll take half the night. You take the other half. Got it. I will take watch first. And I'll take it second. Guess I'll take third. No, we're sleeping. If she if she, if she if she starts, yeah, you guys don't have to do anything. This is on our accord. Um, if she starts jittering or jostling, I wake her up immediately. Okay. You guys go to sleep. Uh, you guys are taking shifts, tasks between task and Greckles. Yes. Okay. Who, who's first? Sorry. Me. Me, I am. You're first? Okay. Everybody falls asleep. Borky's snoring like an absolute like he's earthquake. Got, yeah, he's, he's got sleep apnea. <laughs> Panic looks comfortable in his tiara. Now returned to him. Ah. Uh, <laughs> the prince has returned home. I just imagine his bed out. and He has like he has like full full body pajamas and everything. Like He's always got an outfit. And he's just like surrounded by giant pillows. And I always look good. <laughs> uh, task your watch. Nothing happens. Sully just, she kind of turns in her sleep, but it's not like nightmare turning. It's just kind of like shifting to get comfortable. Wake up your shift. All right. And I just like perch over her. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, as soon as dawn breaks, I want to go out and cry like a rooster but we'll get to that when we come okay. to the bridge all right you watch and she does not like look so she's having a peaceful sleep like she's not like thrashing or anything there's no like change in her face but just like just the way she is mm -hmm. in rest is just not comfortable mm -hmm. task you you dream you begin to dream oh, for fuck's sake here we go <laughs> Okay, what else is he going to take away from me? Okay, you know what? He has plenty he could take away from me. But you know what? At this point, it's either he takes away so much that I just retire the character. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep. Darkness. <sighs> darkness, the stakes. You're just standing in darkness. Oh, God, what do you want? Oh, I'm just here to thank you. Of course Again. you are. Do you remember what you said to me last time you met me? Go fuck yourself. I did. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Panic mumbles in his sleep. <laughs> I didn't know I could. I don't think you're going to like the outcome. Sweet dreams. Is there any particular reason why you're out to get me specifically? Ron Fault was the best thing I had. He killed every human on this continent for me. 
It what? was hmm? beautiful. What's to stop me from killing myself so you don't have me as a tool? I don't need you as a tool anymore. I found a new favorite. One final thank you. Sweet dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. When I find you in the mortal realm or wherever the hell you are, just remember, I will be the one who rips your throat out and feeds it to you. So you have a good night. Pray you never see me again, because the next time I see you, I'll kill you. Crackles, you continue your watch. Sully doesn't stir in her sleep. Mm -hmm. Do I wake up? Yeah, as dawn approaches, you all begin to stir. Okay! <laughs> Cash, like, grabs him by the throat. I have something to tell you. B Borky gets up. <laughs> Borky gets up immediately, wow, that is really annoying to make a lot of noise right when someone's waking up. <laughs> anyway, it's time to get okay. <laughs> it's time to get Borky. Pot holds his finger up, pulls up in the window. <laughs> to the, the whole town. <laughs> <laughs> now that that's over. So, here's some new information. He came back to me last night. Tass, let's go. Oh. What's okay. his deal with you? I don't know what his deal with me, but I remember distinctly telling him multiple times that when he appears to me, I always had told him to go fuck himself. Apparently, he agreed with that statement. Borky holds up his hand. <laughs> I yes, don't <Borky>. understand <laughs> it, but I think... Okay. Up. I'll, put I'll put it to you in this perspective. I think he bored himself or did some kind of copulation in some dumb way with someone on the mortal realm, and I happen to think I know who it is. <laughs> I, have a, I have a quick question. Also gross. I have a quick question. What? It's just... Oh, shit, where do babies come from? Oh, my God, Borky. Borky, oh. I'll tell you when you are older. Oh, thank God. Better okay, though. I don't... Okay, so... <sighs> she's not bearing a child in the conventional sense, I think he, like, just put an essence of himself into Sully. What? What? That's the way it sounded, or at least that's the kind of, like, idea I got out of this. Because he kept telling me how he was thanking me that I put the idea in his head somehow. I don't know how he took a fucking... I don't know how he took an insult and made it into his own little what, scheme. What specifically but apparently... did you say to him? I told him to go fuck himself. Oh, that's why he did it then. But he's th but here's the thing is that he told me that he didn't know he could. He's learning. He's learning. That means it's a young god. Then we can kill it. Yeah. Cool. It means he's maybe not as smart as an old god? He's trying something new then. He's trying something radical. And if it doesn't work in his favor, that might be our way to strike. But again, Sully, we're going to have to tell this to someone of higher power. Okay. Okay. I'll... He did refer to Ronfalt as a plaything. Mm, At first yes. I thought he was just being shitty, but he might have actually meant that. He has to take the- I'm guessing that means he has to take the form of something that's tethered to the mortal realm. This is all very confusing. Borky holds up Gripples. Gripples, is a dark god, do you know anything? Puts his hand- puts his up to his ear. <laughs> now nah, Gripples got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> let's get- let's get back to Alavast now. Okay. You guys set out of the town. Mm -hmm. They bid you a final farewell uh, as you eventually make your way out to where you guys camped the night prior, uh, turning into dogs. Uh, Solly takes off the, the commoner's clothes off her head and she like hands it back to you, uh, Borky, to put back in the bag. Alright, cue, cue the fucking Lord of the Rings theme as they all race back. Da 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 da. Okay. Are you guys heading like on the road? Yep. On the road, and then when we get to that fucking giant crop of death, let's go around it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys, I mean, you make haste. You don't run, because, God forbid, you'd all be exhausted. Um, 
you make decent speed. Uh, you also notice a lot of the spiders are thinning out. The webs are all basically cobwebs at this point. Um, you see treks where animals have come through and have actually like pushed aside the webbing where it was pretty thick before. You get the sense that the culling the numbers, especially the edder caps, may have caused this infestation to go down substantially. Mm, as well as taking away the eggs. We got so many eggs in here and a bunch of corpses. We got so much stuff, guys. We're gonna we're gonna get fucking paid. That guy is the guy at at, at the, bit, the the monster bit shop. Is he gonna love us or hate us, depending on how much of a busy day he's having? As you guys continue walking, you eventually meet the crossroads that leads to the temple and then leads on to Alavast. And Sully does stop and she does look. Sully, we can't go. We can't. Think about this now. We're in far too deep. You have to take this leap. Okay. She has one final glance and then she continues to follow. You guys eventually make it. Night falls. I assume you make camp. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to just say for the sake of brevity, you guys make camp. Nothing really eventful happens. Sully doesn't seem to stir in her sleep. Okay. Cool. And you guys all wake up the following dawn. And you guys make your way through the woods backwards. And as you do... I'm sorry, just gotta double check something here. Uh -oh. They can't hatch in the bag? No, they can't. They're, they... For all intents, they were unfertilized one thing. Sorry. I was just thinking about that. I was just like, wait a minute, they can't hatch? No, that's not possible. You now have a bag of spiders. Well, that's the most scary thing that ever existed. Dude, fuck that. That's double the price. Bag we have live specimens. I have here with me a bag of holding full of spiders. Now, if you give me everything in this shop, I will not open it. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys make way, you walk and you hear a... Like this kind of weird like fleshy noise uh, all right well perception check to figure yeah, out where the fuck that is we all gonna we all got 10 14 from 14 perception for me okay sounds like someone's making macaroni and cheese 15 on my end okay also i immediately stealth damn that would be a crit 22 and i'm stealthing for 20. panic as you stare off in the distance you narrow your eyes and you lean forward with your your hand over your forehead like blocking out the light you see a weird spindly creature hunched over one of the dead spider corpses that you guys killed, currently eating, and it looks like this. Do, do, do. There you go. Oh, Yay! Oh, that's nice. It's small. It's about the size of a cat. But it's currently got this long proboscis mouth currently, like, eating the spider. I will take the shot right now if you give me permission. Uh, do we want to sneak around oh. it? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I don't even know what that is. It's scary. It's a scary thing. It's scary thing. It's cool looking. No, and, it's uh, not. It's not cool looking. It's gross. I think it's... I think it's cool looking. No, I don't agree. I, okay, I guys, sh focus. Do we kill or not? Mm, Sully probably can't sneak past this thing in her armor. No. All right, action. Take a shot. Taking, okay. a, taking a dart. Go ahead and go first, buddy. Oh. That hits. To hit. Five damage. Uh, right. You don't get Colossus Slayer because this is the first hit on it. Shit, we should have had you hit him first. Yeah, I, know. I, just, I just, I just, I just thought of that. All right, fuck. Oh, all right. You guys, all I right. say you guys throw at the same time. So the arrow shoots it, and it lets out this <laughs> this screech. Dart twenty five. That hits. Dart damage eight, and then let me add my two d six. Make attack damage, yeah. Nine damage. Borky oh, Hux is Borky Hux So a total of hang on, hang on. A total of a total of seventeen damage. Alright, there's a two dart swing out, you slice its neck in two places, and it slumps down and the legs start twitching. And then they start pulling and then they stop and settle. Ooh. Bor Bor that Bork was close. Borky high fives Greckles. That was an ace hit. I will actually high five that back. Right, is that you is it dead? Yeah, it's dead, but in the canopy of the trees, you begin to hear a chorus of, Aah! 
Oh, Everybody stealth. Everybody roll stealth initiatives. Oh, you can do a stealth. It. You got stealth. Okay, I got, stealth a, okay, yeah, I got a 22 stealth in. Okay. Everybody roll right. initiatives. Oh, 24. Nat eight. 20 initiative. Oh my god. I rolled an 8. Greco's got the good rolls today. Okay. I rolled a 22. Greco's so up. Everyone is like put in the back. <laughs> Dude, I plan to. We don't know what this thing is. 14. Panic. Okay. Borky, 14. I like Sully. How it's a scary thing. Oh, Solly, not bad. Can you put the can you put the image up again, real fast, so people can see it one more time? Sure. Do you know what this thing reminds me of? Do you remember those things that ate people in Blood Rain? Yeah. yeah. That's um, what it reminds me of. Whoops, I lost the turn order. Uh, and then task, and then I gotta roll for these things. By the way, I, I do have to say the combination dart throw arrow was freaking amazing. Ooh, they got a nat 20. <laughs> What's their, di well, my dex is, my dex bonus is four, so. Yeah, their dex bonus is pretty good, but and it's not that good. And also Tarisk as well. Oh yeah, Tarisk. Yep. Yeah, he's back. Gotta roll the good boy. I have a sheet out right here on my second desk. And okay. The desk is now on the other side of the room. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh. Okay, well he's before he's before you, but nine, not too great. What if we burn down the forest? <laughs> that would I probably we be bad. Told that that that, that that thing we were told not to do. Okay. Well, if we are, are, well we're are, we're in a we're in a separate forest though, technically. The thing we were told not to do. <laughs> what? Well, well, let's put it on a map to see where the actual zone ends. See how much in trouble we'll get. I think we have enough troubles enough uh, as is right oh, now. Oh, oh, hey. So, Zito, out of character, you think this is the thing that was produced when he fucked himself? Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as it wasn't Sully. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Freckles, you're up first. Uh, I need a map. Uh, oh, right, whoops. Oh. I thought you were on the map. Shoot, there we go. Me. Okay, let me, let me slide out here. Boy, that's a lot of webbing. It's thin at this point. You can actually step through it. Okay, okay good. Okay, sweet. Oh, wait, yeah. am, I, am I, like, here, hiding in the bushes? Yeah, yeah you're hiding in the bushes Bor there. Borky's, okay. Borky's up at the front. Okay. Borky's um, up at the front. So, like, let's just describe the battlefield right now. We're along a straight road here. We got some bushes to the right and left. A log and no overhead. visible enemies. Up to the right, and we the tree up farther up to the left. Some light webbing everywhere. Okay. What would what would like? What would a a check be like? Would that per be perception? Well, right, but would that be like a like one action, or would that be a bonus action? I'd say it's a bonus action. All right, let me let me do him go ahead and drop the perception and nineteen. Nice. Okay. Okay, you see them. You see one skittering out. Oh, music, you're gonna come back? There it oh, is. Oh, there it is. You see one skittering out from a bush. All right, I'm gonna to, um, I'm gonna dart that sucker. So, dart attack, uh, 15. Okay, uh, let me just check their AC real quick. That hits. All right, dart damage is five. Do I get sneak attack? Uh, you were stealth, so yeah. Sneak attack damage is five, so ten damage total. Okay, ten damage. That's and great. then with my last action, I'm going to jump back. Okay, bonus action? Yeah, 18. All right, you dive back into the bush. Does, okay. does this thing make a noise? <laughs> it does. It, like, screams out as the dart lands, not in its neck, but in its actual, like, side of its body tangled up in all of its legs. The Sparky's like, they're worse somehow. They're worse than goddamn spiders. They got legs that don't even make sense. The thing twitches its head at you, Borky. Oh, and... I don't. No, no. I no. need you to make a DC... I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. These That's... are psychic spiders. Wait. Oh, my goodness. Do I not... I have to keep pulling this up. I don't know why. Oh, DC wisdom saving throw? Yeah. Uh, what do I? Yeah. 
It's a little box above your your yeah, skills. No, 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 no worries. I'm just trying to switch back over. And yep. That is okay. a ten. Oh. A ten. Yeah, Borky. Borky, you look at this thing and it starts to kind of like make like a cricket noise, like really fast pace. You are now asleep. Oh, oh no. Oh guys, I just realized I had a great night. <laughs> yeah, you see Borky just collapse forward. Well, you're at your tank, guys. Have fun. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm still up. Ah, there we go. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> uh, he's doing that thing with his stuff. The thing then rapidly skitters towards Borky enthusiastically. <laughs> this is literally a nightmare. Like, this is literally... <laughs> Borky has sleep paralysis and literally his nightmare is coming towards him. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tanker! I'm... <laughs> I'm okay. We so we heard multiple of these things, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and. Ta -ta -ta. Oh, I know what you're doing. And then describe what you're doing. I'm I'm measuring He's right planning. now. He's planning. He's measuring. Yeah. I got my my yardstick out. And uh, okay, so I'm gonna kind of wait. Uh, where was I going? All right, so I'm gonna go right in front of Borky, just just kind of tiptoeing uh, around this uh, situation he's got, and Why he's gonna pull out the pipes of haunting. Ooh. Okay. So let me go ahead and. Oh, and I thought you were gonna thunder wave. No. Okay. Uh, each creature within thirty feet of you that hears you play must see succeed on a. DC 15 wisdom saving throw become frightened of you for one minute. Okay. And obviously you're not aiming for your, your beautiful yeah, friends. I'm, I'm exempting my, my companions. All right. So I'm going to have to do a thing here because that's 30 feet, you said. Okay. Yeah, so every, every creature that can hear me within a 30-foot radius. Okay. That's a fail. That's a pass. You hear a horrible scream coming from the bush, uh, right about here. Where's that? Ahead, ahead of uh, panic. Ahead of panic in the second bush, and you see one begin to skitter away from you in fear. Oh no! And then, the oh, I forgot about this guy here in front of Worky. That's a pass. Eighteen will do. Dang. Dang. Okay. Um. All right. I'm just looking at my other spells now. Snap. Uh. Okay. Can I try to wake up Borky with some really loud guitar playing? Uh, your thaumaturgy guitar, sure. Uh, do I roll like performance or something? I'll just say you do it, and Borky, roll a roll a wisdom save with advantage. Ooh, ooh, okay. I get advantage on a wisdom saving throw. I'm just yeah. that good, baby. Oh, baby, please, 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 please. Oh, oh fuck! No. Three. Oh no! Three at oh no! Three and three. Yeah, that is <laughs> that is a bad is a bad thing. That is that that oh, oh, oh that hurts. Cool. Alright, it is Sully's turn now. You have that good dream. <laughs> Sully runs up next to you, Borky. She's gonna attempt to hit this thing with her mace. Okay, that's a 19. That mm -hmm. hits. And that's... What, six plus regimen. That is five plus two. That's seven points of damage. She runs up, and as you guys watch her run up, you see the thing trying to go inside Borky's ear. Oh! oh. And she brings down her mace and just splatters it across the ground. Oh my god. Alrighty. Talk about an earworm. Uh... Borky, you're still snoozing away. Oh, Borky misses his turn. Yeah, you're sleeping. Oh. That's harsh. It's some slap shit. It's good slap. Oh, good it's slap. the good boy's turn. Let's see the good boy after after it's been Tarisk a while. Tarisk runs forward. The beautiful drawing on his side. Still there, kind of. And he snarls. 
seeing the prey running away. Task, it is now your turn. <sighs> okay, let's see. Well, first I'm going to roll a perception check. Okay. Do, 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 perception check. Natural 20. Oh, wow. You stop and you just stare out every tree, even as, like, you hear Solly just, like, smashing this thing over and over again, and even Panic playing on his guitar, you narrow your eyes and you look, and you're able to see every single one of these things currently skittering above on the trees. Reveal them, baby. Free action to tell us where they are? How many do we see? You see two more and one running. Uh, so you see two, one in a very large tree, one in a shorter tree, younger tree, and you see the one that fled from the bush, terrified of the pipes of haunting. Okay. Oh, they're all the okay, so I guess free action to point out, th I I'll just point out there mm. the trees, the last three trees in front of us, and then Tarisk, get, do it, do your thing. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use one of my magic spells on the one that I see, because actually, no, I'm gonna do the magic spell on the one I see in the tree. The okay, closest one. one. Yep. In the super tree? All right. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use... Where's my spell list? I apologize. I like that the picture on this thing is called scary thing. <laughs> right? <laughs> Not the scary thing. I'm going to use hail of thorns on that motherfucker. Alrighty. So you have to hit him with a spell. You have to hit him with an arrow, sorry, first. Yep. So hail of thorns on boy in the tree in the silk filled tree tree boy yes tree boy well there's two tree boys all right let's roll to hit okay 16. that hits all right and then so... dexterity save Three. oh that's at five okay he fails radical so six that, piercing that, that's just six piercing altogether, and then i gotta roll for my spell which is if they uh they have wait the blah, 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 blah. creature takes a one d ten piercing damage on failed save, so one d ten. Ooh, dice roller. Ten. Oh, 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 nice. You catch these things. You let loose your arrow, and in a burst of arcane light, it spreads into a thousand uh, a thousand thorns. And it just eviscerates this thing. One of its legs goes flying across and lands in the bush. And you just don't even hear a sound. You hear like a short like, ah! and then it just is dead. It's completely in pieces. You see parts of it kind of slumping down in each branch of the tree below it. The last tree. There's one left in the last tree. Greckles, it's now your turn. Shoot. Uh, I'm going to have to do a move action. I'm not gonna get stuck in this, am I? Like, it's not thick enough? No, no, it's not thick enough anymore. Make my movement. Throw my dart. All right. Whoosh! Ooh, that is a big nine. <laughs> you you throw it and it goes a little bit wide and it lands in the tree trunk and the creature like, <clears throat> like turns and twists its head and looks at you. Oh God, I can't stealth then. Oh, that's not good. Um, In that case, it... <clears throat> You could use your bonus action to do another attack. Okay, I wasn't sure if I could or not, so I'll go ahead and yeah. do that then. Um, bah, 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 bah. And that's just the regular one. Yeah, you don't get your bonus. modifier on it, but you did to hit, you get your modifier. 14. That does hit, so just roll a dart die. Uh, that was a zero? Question that's, mark? Roll, roll the dart damage die. That's really weird. That's another zero. Wow, it's just magic tonight. Refresh the page. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Roll 20. Hang on. Whoa. Uh, refreshing. I'm going to have to pull my... More like roll 404, but um... Oh. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Uh, you could just roll a 1d4. Well, I'm, I'm reloading now, so I got to... Maximum damage. <laughs> right okay, in a sternly, a sternly worded letter. I think that'll do a lot of damage <laughs> to him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Let roll me try again. Nope, wow. still zero. Oh, All right. okay, screw it. All right, you do it four works, points of damage. It, it works for me. There you oh, go. Oh, there we go. There, I did do four. 
Okay. All right, you throw out your dagger and whew, it spins in the air and it lands right in this thing's side, slashing off one of its legs. And it screams, but manages to steady itself on the branch. Mm. <laughs> Uh, that's all I can do. Time for oh, the creepy, nice. it's time for the scary thing. Scary thing. This thing runs like the Dickens from Panic. <laughs> this one. The one on the tree. Yeah, the tree. This one skitters down onto the ground. And I need you to do a DC wisdom save. Greckles. Ooh. Seven. You, you funk, fall asleep. Fuck. You're like, yeah, ew. I just Panic imagine him character. glide. I just imagine having his wings out and just gliding to the ground. Mm. <laughs> in a nice, in a nice sleeping. Vocal. Please, everyone, remember that the other one was going for Borky's ear. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, gee whiz. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, my spell slots are fresh because we slept. Yes. Uh -huh. Got okay. a good slap. Oh, oh, I accidentally reset it to negative one for some reason. Okay. Uh, okay. So, looking at my ruler, trying to figure out if I can. Uh-huh, that'll work. All right, Panic's gonna... You know what, I just lost a place. God. All right. Panic's gonna run up here, uh, just in front of uh, Greckles, next to the two little weird, scary thing corpses, and okay. he is going to Thunder Wave. All I right. Sh I should have just straight up run. Uh, it's okay, I'm sleeping. Kaboom. Level one. Oh, wow. It got a natural one on its constitution saving throw. Oh, <laughs> wow. Alrighty. So pushed back, I think it was five feet? Let me look. Oh, it just gets blown away ten feet from me, and I'm going to, I'm going to uh, use my bardic ability of what was it striking cord yeah i'm mm -hmm. gonna use striking cord so i need to roll a ranged attack which i think is just 1d20 plus dex d20 then. plus my spell casting modifier yeah so ah. uh, oh, what what that, hits. Hits. that hits okay it is let me read this real quick entertaining striking when a creature feels its saving throw against a bard spell that uh, deals thunder damage you can expend one use of bardic inspiration to attempt to knock a creature down roll a bardic inspiration dice add the number rolled you can just oh, click add, it add the number rolled to that damage okay so i need to roll 1d6 as well okay okay two. that's a two it's 11 damage and uh since that since my ranged uh, spell succeeded, it is also prone. All right. Nice. Uh, you. Oh wait, actually, that's. I, wow. Okay. You strike the cord with the thunder wave, and it just breaks into pieces like porcelain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. So you're right on its health there. Good job. Fucking, fucking panic. And uh, I guess I'm going to try to do the same thing with uh, Greckles. I mean, that, that thunder wave was pretty loud, so he's going to try to wake him up. All right, roll a, a, a wisdom saving throw with advantage. Seven. <laughs> wow. Seven and four. Damn. You're like poofed up like your your head is tucked behind your your, your wing. <laughs> oh, oh can so I be comfy. sleeping? Can I be sleeping like a, like a goose? <laughs> yeah, you are. You're like sleeping with your head scrolled back. He looks, really he looks so comfy. Okay. Right. That ends your turn? Yeah. Okay. Solly's gonna bonk you on the head, Borky. <laughs> She's gonna hit you with her mace, which she has advantage on because you're asleep. And she hits you. You take 
Oh god, what? Oh. You take three points of bludgeoning damage as you're woken up abruptly. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's time to get okay. It's I not start... the morning. She like shakes you like it's not the morning. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Nothing it's makes not sense the anymore. <laughs> Nothing makes sense anymore. <laughs> What's right, happened? It's your turn now. I had a terrible dream. I couldn't move and a weird thing tried getting in my ear. It was like negativity and negativity ain't ever get me down. And, oh my god, what is that? And Borky, Borky runs right after it. <laughs> Kill it! Borky <laughs> runs as far, uh, he runs one, two, three, four, five, thirty. And just, you can dash if you want. Borky just yeah, runs yeah. and throws his electricity spear as fast <laughs> at the thing. Oh god, what's yeah. that? Oh god, what's that? Kill it! <laughs> and Borky runs, throws his chaplet of lightning. Oh no! Crit fails! <laughs> Watch you roll the damage on that. Oh, oh no! Oh, Wait, no. what? 20, 25 points of damage! How much health do you have, Panic? 17. You, oh. take, you take 28 points of electric damage. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh fuck! Well, you them. Um, Good job. Oh fuck, I can't What's believe I've done this. What's the on death in this game? Uh, it has to go over like, dump like your entire health pool. So, it has to be n negative double my health? Basically is what, how I understand it. Okay, good, because if it was negative single my health, he would have killed me instantly. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm at negative 18 points, guys. <sighs> fuck. I'm sorry, I'm asleep. Just shatter, I've been stuck. Shatter a weird, scary thing. Yeah. There is currently like the javelin went right through you too. Panic just panic. Slowly turns his head to look at Borky, Why? and he just mouths. Why? Of course, <laughs> over onto the ground. And Borky just goes, "Oh my god, I just crackled it." <laughs> I'm glad I'm asleep. Tarisk runs. He's like, oh Ask. shit. It's now your turn. Son of a fucking bitch. What have One, I two, done? Three, four, five, six. Alright, we'll take a shot at this fucking thing. Where's my I'm thing I'm so at? sorry, Snake. <laughs> yeah, now you know how it feels. That 27. Hits? No, Eight, you don't know how this nine, feels. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 points of damage. Uh, it actually hasn't been hit before, so it only takes the... No, uh... it, no he did. He took, the, he took a dart. Yeah, he took the dart, remember? <gasps> right, he did. Sorry. Oh, that's the wrong guy. I was looking at the wrong health bar. Yeah. Uh, it's eight. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, he's dead. You just, it runs. It's like scampering away, and you just shoot it, and it pins it to the ground, and it starts to move, and as it does, it actually tears its own body from the arrow, splitting itself in half. And it tries to keep running and its body's just split and then it just slumps down and begins to bleed out. Okay, well, let's be let's Bork uh, Borky worry about the bodies later. I'm going to cast healing twice. I thought we agreed no more infighting. Borky, Borky, <laughs> Bork, 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 Borky literally holds, is just pick, is, Borky just literally gets down on his knees gun and just goes, why? All right, there you go. There's one roll. Is that twelve? Wow. Uh, that... Oh wait, wait oh, that's was that to hit? That, that, yeah, oh. no, no, it's eight. It's eight. So that's okay. it's eight there, and then right. mm -hmm. check. You, it's Sully's. a touch attack. You can't miss. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say let me check Sully's inventory, but she doesn't have an inventory anymore. Whoops. All right, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fit. Uh, not fifteen. Fourteen points of the fourteen HP is back on him. Okay, I'm still dead. All right, uh, well, I'll, I'll use my last one. The plus four is for the crit. Yeah, so nine. So I'm back up to five. You come back to life, and as you heal him like multiple times, Task, the javelin like gets spit out of his body. Like it's just like. <laughs> Task is like looking at his palms as they're shaking. He's never used this much magic before. He's just like, oh, fucking hell. Uh. 
you are banged up you are your hair is like an afro you tass. smell just burnt flesh here dude tass just like hand i can't do tass looks at his hand looks at him i can't do this anymore here take this a healing potion i need the mirror someone get me a mirror you look tass, no you tass look un untakes uncorks it and just shoves it in his mouth <laughs> you're beautiful you're beautiful you're what's beautiful. A, I'm what, just... What's uh? What's the healing potion rate do? Uh, potion of healing. It's two d four plus four, I think. No, uh, that's lesser. A different potion. That's lesser. Hmm? Oh. Let's take a look. Uh, oh nope, that is two d four plus four. Huh? Yeah, two d four plus four. Oh, okay. So hold on a second. Two d four plus four. Good shit. Seven. All right, let's get seven HP seven. back. Well, now that he's in some like moniker of fucking, you know, consciousness and stability, Tass is gonna start doing what he does best: monster hunting. Let's carve. Tank literally looks like a mad scientist at this point. Like, Bork just... Borky literally is picks up panic. Like the Superman cover with Superman holding one Superwoman. <laughs> no! What have I done? He's You're not okay. dead. I'm okay. I'm okay now. But I feel like just... that. I feel like I killed our friendship. Just how can you ever trust? Calm? How can you ever trust a man who would shoot shove something in your backside without oh, yeah, your by knowing? The way, by the way, Tass walks, walks over to uh, to to Greckles and kicks him in the head. <laughs> 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 A panic, Dick. panic reaches up, and his his muscles are spasming from the electricity damage, and he he just strokes Borky's cheek, and he's like, "Borky, you're still my friend, but you're fired." <gasps> panic! <laughs> what in the hell's happened? Let's like, not do anything rash right here. I mean, mistakes made, mistakes were made, but let's not. What did you do, Borky? Pan panic coughs up blood. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it Rackles, was, it was, it was, Rackles, it was, Rackles, it was, Rackles, it's these things. Task points to the thing on the floor he's trying to carve. I can't have my manager killing me. Borky just Wait, looks so up. Wait, are, are you, are you lying to me? Yes, I'm lying to you. Okay, let's sh roll them bones. It was Deception do have, check. Do I have 12. like a wicked scar in my, in my torso insight. now? Insight. Insight, insight. Fifteen. You can tell he's trying. You can tell he's trying to patch this. Borky, up what did you do? I just, I'm so. Borky just looks right at Greckles and just knows that looks down Can all it? sad. You have to understand something. Um, no, no, no. There is nothing to understand. No, no, no. That no. much shit about one dart and you killed him. No, you don't understand. When you passed out and fell on the ground, uh, you hit me as I was getting up, and while I was throwing, it threw me off, and that's how I hit him. Roll, roll a deception check, Borky. Please. Please. That's, that's not a, that's please with please with disadvantage. <laughs> no, no, just normal. I want a natural one so bad. Roll it. Nope. He's Four. He's, he's dumb and he's a bad liar. It's a, it's, All right, well, it's, there's, it's there's two joke. other bodies left, so there actually no, there's four bodies, so I'm gonna roll three more. The last Panic one was looks, garbage. Panic looks down at his torso. He's trying to see if he has a wicked scar at least. Uh, I will roll for Wicked Scar. What if it was like his belly button and then the- Oh, his... you're- the ladies are gonna love you. <laughs> it's oh. pretty cool. You're Looks kinda like a dragon. It's kinda you're badass. Gonna have, you're gonna have to lie about it every time. Panic- Panic uh, gets- gets a- uh, he, he like runs his fingers back through his- his now afro trying to mat it back down to, uh, to, uh, its normal stage and he- he just looks at his- now ruined clothes and he just looks over to Sully and in his weakened just revived state he's going to groggily say Sully yes smash a pass <laughs> oh um <laughs> roll a charisma <laughs> check please now 20 just watch um. 22 she lovingly pats you on the face. She goes, um, you're very handsome. That's all I needed. 
Okay. <laughs> all right. So out of all the things I rolled to do survival checks on carving these things, I got 15, 7, 22, and 21. Okay. As you're carving through these things, it's like carving through a really bony fish. Hmm. All right. So how you about- You also find in the stomach of one of them all of the spider eyes from Ugh. all of the corpses. Um, Were these things carrying parts away? In order to harvest them, you're actually probably better off just taking a whole one. Yeah, I was about to say, the one that I couldn't really carve that well, I'm just going to throw... Put it okay. in the bag with my shame. Was the, the, Real fast, can Borky really quickly talk to Greckles? Sure. Make peace. Well, make peace now. We have to get moving. I don't like that there were. There might be more of these things. Okay, can we, this conversation can happen while they're moving, okay? Yeah, yeah, we're going to be walking. Okay. In the past. All right, so I'm going to add that to the... Solly, uh, Solly goes up to you, Panic, and she kind of helps you up. She's like, are you okay? Can you walk? I, my, I can't feel my legs. That could be the electricity, but I, I could... I'm sh I should be able to walk. Thank you, though. Okay. She kind of lets you go. Yeah. See, Greco's in the past yeah. of very, very critical of you uh, shoving a uh, a dot in my shoulder and it hurting a lot. I feel now I understand what you went through and the shame. And I want you to know I will now accept your apology. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to hell, Borky. After all that shit you gave me mm. for one dart, which you shrugged off with your mm. big, stupid, meaty body, yeah. and you almost <laughs> killed our friend. Yeah, well, he's, I mean, like I said, sorry. Uh huh. Be the, Say bigger, it. Be the bigger man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Porky? I will accept your apology when you decide to give it. And he, and he, Greggles just walks off. I okay. feel like I haven't come across well today. <laughs> 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 All right, I want everyone in chat to calm down because we're just playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no. This is that was this is great. I want you to know we're, I accept. I now we're accept. gonna end the session there. Actually, that's good. That's good. <laughs> F out for panic, everybody. F that. Oh my god, I am dude. Dicks out for panic. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow! That was all right. Let's stop recording, guys, real fast. Hit that stop on yeah. that recording track. Okay, stopping recording. Uh, yep, save, stop recording. And save oh, as as uh, this is episode sixteen, right? Yes. All right. At least I think so. Uh, yes, yeah, sixteen. All right, save that as your name, episode sixteen. This, okay. First of all, let's let's talk about that 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 final fight was so freaking hilarious. Like, I feel so. I genuinely thought I ki I killed. Fucking! I, I thought I killed Me Panic. Me too. I thought yeah. I thought I just killed Panic. I, I was like, no. I was like, is this the end? Is this the end of Panic Grimtongue? My Pour balls boy. out for Panic. <laughs> yeah, to my knowledge, you have to basically exceed like past your 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 health pool of like what I'd, you have. I'd heard I'd heard a couple different things. I, I'd I'd heard if it, you go into the negatives that equal your HP, then you're done, and that would have killed me. <laughs> I was close yeah. to that too. There was just that, that lightning spear is so much damage. No, it went past. It went. It went past that. It, I had seventeen health. It brought me to negative eighteen. So technically, you did kill him. Wow! You killed the shit out of me. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> Fucking that! What a what a fluke, right? Yeah, what, tell me about it. What a fucking <laughs> I'm saying. Like no. That was a. Uh, it was a hashtag oh fuck moment. The yeah, chat, the was. heart, the, the everyone's stomachs just dropped in the stream. Like I just genuinely feel bad because it's it was just. To be like, fair, I, I hope I, I thought hope, it was hilarious. I, I, I thought it was priceless too, but like I I don't want to joke at the expense of one of my one of my one of our characters dying like that of, of a fucking mistake. Like you know, it, we made a fucking joke about a character dying in the first place and we had to consider the brand. I'm <laughs> clearly the best <laughs> tank in the whole party. I even tank my own I, I even tank my own party's hits. So like, where did this spear go through real fast for fan artists? It's gut. It it's went through like his lower ribs, like kind of where the pelvis meets like kind of like to the 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 um the right of the belly button. Can I, I can can I make a suggestion real fast? 
about what that scar looks like. I want to see if I can get approval from the DM. Is on it going to? Is it going to look like a thunderbolt? Because I agree as well. No, it's going to be a hole where the thing went through, but then there's going to be like light, lightning shooting out around it. <gasps> Damn. So the Dark Souls symbol. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, I can't believe Panic is the chosen undead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it works! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can bring it casually. Oh yeah, you never, you know, dying's pretty crazy. You were dead for like a minute. And I apologized. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You had to be there for... No, you didn't. <laughs> I like how the first... I love how the first party kill was an it was a critical fail in fight. <laughs> and you people thought I was going to do it. <laughs> That's true. You know, honestly, the amount of arrows you've shot, I'm surprised that actually hasn't happened. Like, I, like... I, I am too! Like it, it is a complete surprise, and I hope seriously, Goomba, you're not mad. I just I, that I would more would make those oh. jokes with Greckles. No, no, oh. I don't. I personally don't give a shit. It's what our characters do. That's good. This okay. So we should do some. But I, no, you don't. You don't understand. After oh. after after he took all that damage and died in the back of my mind, I started cackling because <laughs> I knew, I knew, I knew forever and for always, Greckles could hold this over Borky till the end of time. Yeah, it's really great, Bork. You're having a good day. Remember that time you killed Panic? Oh. <laughs> it's like a button. Like it's it's like it's you like know, a, it's the. I was enjoying my day. You had to go and ruin it. And just and Borky turns around. He's just got a Panic Grim Tongue tattoo on his entire back. You just you, you just oh, see. Oh, Panic dude, would forgive him. You, you panic see Borky like just grab a task by the shoulder and just go. Don't tell Elga. I, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna, oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna tell you right now. Can, Borky might get. I can get hold that as blackmail now. Borky, Borky might get the same tattoo that you got, with the with the actual scar. As if, if if he gets if he gets a uh, panic grim tongue band tattoo on his back, panic will forgive the shit out of him. <laughs> but what if that's your actual band logo now? That's uh, the that's dark the side. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> See, this this is great. That's yeah. pretty advertising. <laughs> what? Well, give me a second. Just to, there's a lot of art. So just give me a second. We We're, also have poetry, which I'm excited about. Poetry. Ooh. We'll, we'll, we'll try and get through them as quick as we can tonight. Yeah, because I'm I'm probably going to bail halfway through. I gotta get up super early in the morning. Guys, oh, I noticed a lot gross. of bit. I noticed a lot of bit drops. Guys, I do apologize for the first hour of the stream. Uh, I was very stressed, kind of going into it again. I just I've had a, I had a bit of a rough day. I don't want to go too much into it, but I do appreciate you guys all being patient with me. As well as all my fellow players, I really appreciate it, guys. Yep, you're good. You murdered someone. Oh god, I did, I, it was an accident. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, should, should I go to the? A lot of people sent pictures of their cats. Just like why? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go to the unexpected. Hold story. on, there's still more. Just wait, just wait. I didn't do Pat it. Had a grim tongue, too brutal for hell tour. <laughs> 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 There's so much dog art. I love it. Panic Grim All right, we're good to, to go. Die tour. All right, yeah, I can go to the Unexpectables. Oh, wait, there's more. Hold on. Also, oh I'm God. getting... Gri Gripples right. versus Selberg. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Gets, Panic gets hit by the spear. <laughs> hey, I'm relevant. <laughs> All right, so yeah. we, the first one we got here is from... Kayakona, Kayako cartoons, hands are God sent. Just, just, <laughs> just touching each other's faces. It makes me so happy. <clears throat> How was this a song for Panic? Friendly Fire. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Jerome Jappel, just you got anything? Stairs. Void noises. <laughs> yeah, he's got it. All right, this one is called Friendly Fire. He just stares at Borky for like a good 15 seconds. <laughs> oh. Right, here we go. Got to go fast. See you later. And here we got Pan We got Panic the Edgehog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can do little voice skits for everybody, unfortunately, this time around. Yeah, fast! Yeah. We, want we don't have time for this all. So yeah, the delay makes it take a while. Ethar, Py Ethar Pyrus, as I was looking for something to draw today, I figured, you know what? Panic needs more more art. So three hours later, here he is. Thank you so much, Ooh. Ethar Pyrus. Stupid, sexy it's, Panic. It's so cute. In the world of living. Uh, we have King Helms. Gotta keep rolling, 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 rolling. 
And we also have, it, it's from King's Helms. It's not my best pork, but I hope you guys like it. Do not touch the uh, release demon demon uh thing. I I don't I can't really read this one unfortunately. Sorry. Um, and we also have Ripples. Damn, tiny, tiny, tiny. Ripples one twenty four. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for the art, and uh, thank you so much, man. <coughs> Appreciate it. And we have two very good boys from Jesters Unite. The best boys. Thank you so much, Jesters Unite. <laughs> and, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I give you Orky and the Tramp from Hector New from Gray underscore Beast nineteen ninety five. This is what Borky was dreaming. Ha! <laughs> 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 ah! I just gotta. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. That's really cute. Oh my goodness! There's so much art. Here we go. He has completed. He has completely embraced Spider. Am I Spider from Red Redraw? Thank you so much. <laughs> this is good stuff. Is everyone doing okay? Y'all quiet. Yeah, yeah, my stomach's just, a little grumbly. I'm, I'm just, I'm, just I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting in anticipation with the delay. And here we have uh, anime toy uh, Ty Borpington. <sighs> the greatest soup ever done. The unexpected, the unexpected. There's Best Boy, and there's Gripples Mid Explosion, which looks amazing. And of when course, we get back to town. He's got to make potato chips for me. <laughs> and this is an amazing <laughs> dice roll. <sighs> Four from Zaya W8. Thank you so much for the amazing, amazing art. There we go. It's time to get Orky. It's time to get Borky from age old in his fine outfit. Thank you so much. Age old. Age old underscore art. Alrighty. Battle of Century. Gripples versus Se Sel Selperg. 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 <clears throat> Selperg. Gripples versus Selperg. One is infinite. One is forever. One is like for, you know, a while. <laughs> <laughs> Battle of the Century. Thank you so much, Zoa King. I almost clicked the Fiverr ad. Kitty, come also, out to money. play. Hashtag the Unexpectables. I, I just want to say I love the random crap you just give us. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's some fun. Like, Gripples will have his second day. Gripples will have his second day. What if, what if, what if, what if Gripples sacrifices himself to destroy Stillhabity? Truce, truce, tr good shit, good shit. Damn. Can I offer you a gripples in this trying time? Shoot from episode 12. Sorry, talk. I had to. What? Oh, oh, I can't say too much about this without giving my story. Kaylee and the Alien, thank you so much for the very sad art. <coughs> I made a thing. I hope the Japanese correct. Re readable, Gaijin Goomba. Here we go. I'll hold it on for it a second. It is. From Poenator. Poenator. No, it's, it's, it's completely legible. What does it say? <clears throat> I thought we weren't reading. Um, that one's a little bit special. It's like Japanese. Yure no yona, which is li like ghost. Um, dai akuto. Uh, it, he, he asked for the if, if the meanings were correct, and by and large, they were. Okay, cool. Zero eight. A little doodle of tasks stuffing some loot. I love the perspective, because that's pretty I accurate. Know. <laughs> I know. I was very determined to make sure that we get those back. Good boy holds a cat from Zoa King. Aww. Adorable. <clears throat> good Schmoogin, good dogs and bad cats. Kitty Whippins. <laughs> oh, I love the I love I love the I love the Sheba fire breath. That's really great, Schmoogin. Yep. I I I favored I, I saved that immediately. <laughs> Who's a good boy? You are What? <laughs> 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 when you said he he explodes, I went, oh fuck! I can't believe he's done. She's done this. <laughs> yeah, just and, explode. And, and There's a particular sound I'm thinking of that he made, and I actually tried to find a paper bag to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. And then we have the little task of pushing the giant kitty weapons in the bag. In the bag it goes. And we have Tiki the troll. The trial of dog now within a darkened cave <clears throat> with perils unseen. There's a massive mastiff, an angry chihuahua. Two among the five, a handsome collie, and a golden retriever are two in this cave. The last is a sneak who combines magic and skill, and he, he now leads the way. The Shiba Inu's jitsu, burning the mushrooms, keeping his friends safe. With flames from his mouth, tentacles are kept at bay, dead as they are as they're spotted. Thank you. Officer to Croesus is now nothing to be feared due to this good boy. Thank you, Tiki the Troll, for that. 
Grey Beast 1995 harvesting. <laughs> 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 because there, there's a version of him where he's just screaming harvesting. <laughs> Uh, Ra Raziel Cruz, updated body on Borky, and a work in progress for Panic, having a hard time finding an outfit fabulous enough for him, though. That's good. like a Skyrim mod thing. That looks mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, that, that, that looks like it's going to be aimed to be playable in Skyrim. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Well, that needs to be shared in the Discord, definitely. Thank you so much, Raziel Cruz. Yeah, also, um, there, there is an outfit that, uh, I like on Panic. I'm, I'm wearing it on my, uh, Skyrim playthrough that I stream on Twitch. It's it's like one of the one of the uh, Jarl's outfits. It's the red one. Oh, awesome! I think I know what you're talking about. Oh God, why do I remember that instead of math? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that question every day. Oh, Just man. all math. Jesus. Uh, J C Doodles, the revelation you pug or a good boy. Rest in peace. Rest rest in peace. Rest in pug. What? There's so a very determined Chihuahua. Mine, mine, so wait, mine, the mine, death mine, rolls mine. change to be double negative. The full HP they are immortal. I see. That's the thing. I don't know actually. Well, we need to set what the death rules are and adhere to it from he henceforth. Are, yeah. are, are, you, are you going? Are you going? Are you? Do you literally like want to roll back and say that? No, I'm gonna dead? give you guys a pass that time. Wait. So, so I did die. You, you did, did technically die. But so you what? Negative Wait, so HP in one one hit. Yeah. Well, I'll figure it out later. Well, if we want to set later. the rule, could we maybe, like, if we, think we get there within one turn? Nope, you played I'm it right. Oh, my teacher just said, you played it right. We can talk later. Okay, so. All right. King of Citric nope, King with the amazing yeah, art. I already played it out. I'm still alive. Yeah, and the te my teacher's saying it's fine. There we no go. Take backs, he said, say. This is amazing, Citric King. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff. All right. From L Pocket Watch, I would have included Ozzy in Panic's harem, but I don't know how to draw him. Either way, Doros is going to kill Panic. Fuck you, fuck you, big bird bitch, lizard shit. All right, guys, guys, shut up, Borky. Borky, get the fuck out. <laughs> so we need to, I should, I'm glad I don't have to, I don't have beef with anyone. <laughs> I just <Sorry>. love Doros. <laughs> I love Doros. I always imagine Mashiba from, 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 from Ippo, and I feel like it's always proven right. What the fuck is? Ha! <laughs> huh, so glad I don't have beef what? with anyone. It's great. All right, some more is Shrugan she staring art. Staring at Ty, or is she staring at Panic's ass? A little bit. Sorry, that was that was from <laughs> L Pocket Watch. Sorry, my mistake. Freaking Ty in that picture <clears throat> too. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Wait, I haven't seen the picture. I haven't seen the. I haven't. Have, have, have Ty's at the bottom. <laughs> His oh. arms like oh. on panic. I need a tie and a gripples fucking emote on this channel. I think that's needed, right, guys? I guess, yeah. Go yeah. for it. Oh, yeah, we need that. It needs to be happening on here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Remember what you told me. I just stick there remember telling you to go fuck yourself. I did. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I like how all the eyes go, ee! <laughs> Angry chicken noises. It's good shit. Best boy. Oh, okay. Jacob, Jacob Neal found it. When damage reduces you to zero hit points and there's damage remaining, you die if the remaining damage equals your hit point maximum. So did you die? Wait, how much how much damage did it do? Did you said 25 or 21? Oh uh, 25. I think it did 25, yeah. But it, isn't it, isn't it like... What was your health when you took the shot? You were yeah, you should have been fully healed. I was healed. at full health. No, and oh, no, 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 no. It, it brought so you me... have 17 hit points. It brought me to negative eight. Oh, thank so God. I would have lived either way. I, I, yeah. I don't know why I, I added the extra one on there. I think I might have accidentally <laughs> okay. did a thing. So panic did live. Okay. So, yeah, either way, I, either way live. I lived. The important thing, by the way, this might be my favorite. I just smoking. I gotta smoking, smoking. I just. <laughs> Do you know what, what fucking Greco's reminds me of? It reminds me of mosquito in this picture. A mosquito of of what? Mi oh. Mister Mosquito from oh like God. Rain Man. <laughs> the oh, man. Uh, the video game. Gray Beast yeah, 95. Except not. I'm not trying to suck on some poor girl's leg. What the fuck? Oh, right, here we go. Man, you've had a rough week. Hmm? Uh, desk. E 
<laughs> fucking like a, a what the hell is it called Just a stone grind <laughs> and here from another from a different from a similar campaign from the Citra King and an early work of progress of a big guy the, the, the that's, that's the guy across from your, your shop now exactly yep, the big guy the big guy who's rusty okay. that's from uh, at Citra King thank you so much love it how that looks actually and here we go only the best wife from Ruby Lash Flash 15 it's just, it's, it is, it is the, what? What? <laughs> I have pondered this question my entire existence. Who's a good boy? Uh, you're a good boy, you're a good boy. You, yes, you are, yeah, you are. What? You are the best boy. <laughs> that really was the best way to end it. <laughs> yeah. And there we go, that's the art we had. Oh, awesome. Oh, we have some art throughout the week, too. We, we want, want, want us to go through that, too? Go for uh... it. Uh... <clears throat> we can just go a little bit here. We have a little bit of time here. You the fuck, Porky? You left me. How the hell are you a dog? The squirrel's the suicidal exploding penguin. Come on, pit grippers, kiss the pretty pug. Kill Porky. God damn it, clothing one. <laughs> Not one. Oh, I'm. What is it? I, I don't know what that is. I am. Uh, I'm struggling to understand what this. Is. All right, we. Don't, sorry, King Helms. I don't know what you're going for with this. I do apologize. Something for you guys and my gr and girl. More art tonight. It's my dad's birthday, but he left us too soon. Oh, I'm sorry to oh. hear that, man. Thank you so much for the art, though. There is some new stuff that just came in. Here we go. Here we go. There's, here, here's some schmoogin. I call this little number my awful cat's weird habit filtered <clears throat> through a lens of a much bigger and stronger Drake. <laughs> wow. Wow, what? It's a bad dog. It's a bad Drago. I like his noom pose. You... <laughs> also, I, I want to give a shout out for Jack for doing the artwork uh, of the the scary thing. Oh my God. Uh, I literally messaged him. I'm like, I like this creature you did. Can I use it? And he went, yeah, sure. And I tried to make a token of it. I'm like, this isn't working for the token. He goes, give me 20 minutes. And then he presented me with that. And I was like, okay. And here is HR <laughs> Ridgeman. I guess I kind of managed to draw at least one arm. Why, <laughs> Borky? Porky, Porky, Porky. I almost skipped over this. Media Roads is still is plowing along here at the Borky character model, which I am loving. Oh, he's a big boar. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I love the tusks. They're like yeah, they're super huge. Cool. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he's an orc, full blown orc. And here we go, another Ragnar one one commission in the bag. Play date. What's up? Hi. Guess who's here? And they all put their creatures down on the ground and they all play. <laughs> Boy, she keeps ours as a guinea pig again. It's his element. <laughs> <laughs> He's home. I don't know if I wanted to explain why he turned into a guinea pig. Do, do you really? It doesn't have to? matter. It'll ruin the magic. Yeah, of the you know what? Yeah, forget it. <clears throat> it's a mystery. Know, some weird god stuff. I need to break. So I do. I so I. Oh, here we. Sorry, I almost skipped over this too. Ugh. From uh, Chiss Master Murdoch, we got some dogs, and I love, I love that Solly looks like Mr. Peanut Butter. It makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> makes me super happy. Thank you so much, Doggy Doggy. What now? We have some more art at the top. We'll just go through here. I love spiky uh, tent. Working on a new voxel style. Hope you like how Rivi and Abacus come out. Hope the hooves came out well. Looking great there, Jim the Rabbit Cow. Thank you so much. And I like the hooves. Archangel Logie, I need a break so I doodle some good boy and angry boy. I want my fucking body back! <laughs> <laughs> and very good boy. Oh my god, there's so much great art. Borky has one or two javelin throws, no in between. I mean! <laughs> mm. <laughs> how javelin. Ah, how apt, Red Raw. How apt your comic is from a, a two days prior. That came the day before this came out. He's psychic. I also love, just finished watching Chapter 10. Taros was such a good boy, I had to try and animate the Durgo. Get him, boy. Oh, from that's Dude, my... I, know, I know who that person is. One, I've actually... Darko Tumblr. Draco one. She... She's my friend from uni like from college. We went to college together. Oh, dude, seriously, I've we're, I've, we're, spoken, I've spoken to her like well before. Yeah, she's actually you know Zito, and I'm like yeah. And she goes, oh, I know him too, and I'm like wow, what a really small world. This is amazing. Yeah, she lives she lives here in town. We hang out all the time. Oh, that's radical. Yeah, that's amazing. Tell her I said hi. 
That's amazing. Sure. Our dra one Draco Draco she, one. She's been following since we started her Discord. They follow, and she does really good work. I knew she would love Tarisk. I just knew it. Small fucking world. This is this. I just love the. It looks amazing. Amazing word, Draco. No. And I think we're all caught up. Mm -hmm. We had some new stuff. Some Oswald new stuff came in. Yeah. So there, there that. was, there was a, uh, yeah, there was, there, there was that Death Note joke character that I absolutely, I, I freaking love that. Was it like I'll throw, I'll throw darts with my left hand and stab <laughs> with my right? Ruby Flash fifteen just finishes up. Honestly, I wasn't, I, I wasn't expecting Greckles to do this. Bok. <laughs> <laughs> It's awesome. Thank you so much, Ruby Flash 15. We also have oh. Renegade underscore 581. Did more with line art I did of task last week. Nice. You get some badass looking task there. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Renegade. Gosh, the metallic shade on that is just super good. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Here we just go. A different tonality. Zach Clark. Oh, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll do it, <laughs> All right, it's enough of that. <laughs> oh. Raziel Cruz, here are some panic photos in that post talk read. I'll put them through here. There he is. Oh, look at that. Look at them leather pants. Nice. That's leather... fucking cool. Thank you, Raziel Cruz. Looking flashy. Probate! Whoa! Oh. Oh. Knowing what I know about guard drakes, this is a plot hook here that could upset everyone in the party. Oh, my goodness. One, two, three, four, five. Is that... Is, is that... Did you just give? Did you just give us three thousand bits? Probate. You mean three hundred thousand? Or not three hundred? Three hundred thousand? That'd be thirty thousand wow. bits. He just gave us thirty thousand bits. And Zedhawk five thousand bits. Don't worry, Borky. Exodus happened. Greckles keep being edgy. Panic. Congrats on your new scar. Task. Keep on harvesting and Taurus. Such a good boy. Probate. <laughs> and Zen. Thank you so much, you guys. Holy shit. It just says congrats. <laughs> yeah, that was that was actually uh fifteen thousand. Was fifteen? I need to count better. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen grand. That's no, fifteen hundred. Okay. It's one hundred and fifty. Oh. One hundred and fifty thousand bits. Jesus. Ah, oh, sorry. Just, I'm just. I'm rubbing my temples right now. I'm rubbing my temples right now. Hey. That's a lot of bits. And Zanhawk with 5,000 bits, too. Thank you so much to both of you guys. Sorry, we completely derailed. That derailed us, you guys. That derailed <laughs> us, you guys. The next was great, though. The next piece of artwork. <laughs> From I'll try out the bank once they deal with all the things. Scary cat gold, she's putting me in the bank. <laughs> Dark God, put it in the bank. Negative emotions and not facing our problems. Put it in a bag. Well, yes, we put that in the bag. Borky, I'm really, Borky, I'm really angry at you for stabbing. Put it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Armor Hunter, Hunter. With four thousand bits on this session. No, no, talk. I'm sorry. Now I just all of a sudden I see. Why did you come back, Orc? Put her in the bag. <laughs> put her in the bag. And this session shall be immortalized as the session Borky fucked up. And that's when. Borky knew. Good he boys and I'm gonna call this one good boys and bad orcs, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I want, and you know what? And it's all thanks to my bottle of balls that got panic up on his feet. Oh my god. Yes, the shell uh, continues. You should, you should you should put you should put in the description someone you love dies. Someone you love <laughs> dies. Really ominous. I just oh, no. Armor Hunter, thank you for the four thousand bits too, dude. Jesus, you guys are being so kind to the show. And we also have still a little bit more work to do, but here's the new work in progress and the unexpectables. This is looking amazing, Hargo Love Studio. Look I popped into her live streaming this, and it was pretty cool. This is there's that so is much awesome. there's so much detail going into this. I love it. I also love the way she's made like the final area look. It looks so fucking cool. Yep. I love Panic's expression. It's so He's great. So, I'm so hate. scared. Well, he did get slashed pretty hard. He's just yeah. like, oh my guitar. That's becoming a trend. Not to my guitar. It's me getting the shit kicked out of me. You are the best tank. <laughs> Thank unfortunately, you. unfortunately, you are the bard, and both end up in a situation that happens flat damage. I agree. 
<laughs> We're cutting out pretty bad there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck's Dra sake. Draco955, who's a good dog, not Borky? Ain't that the fucking truth? <laughs> good boys and bad orcs. I think we're going to land on that name tonight. Uh, with that, guys, that's the art we got in tonight. I want to personally thank everyone for swinging by. Thank you so much for the bits, you guys. I still don't know what to say about that. Dra like, just Draco, Armored Hunter with your 4,000. Just, oh, my God. I Zenhawk with your 5,000. Probate with your 15,000. Sorry, 150,000? 150. It was, it was 1,500,000. It was $150 in bits. Just, yeah, holy shit. Yeah. There were other people who get. I need to actually get. A, I think I need to get the the bit tracker. I need to get that going from now on for the bit, so I can better track this for you guys. Demons, thank you for the five hundred bits. Bits out for panic. All Star God, <laughs> two month anniversary, one hundred bits. Thank you so much, guys. We we missed five like missed like four more arts. Um, I I, I didn't really see that. Uh, we'll see if we can check that real fast. But um. Guys, there were also some bit Every, drops. Everything will be retweeted. I just grabbed as like what I could. One hundred and fifty thousand bits. That's what it was. Commissioner Baron is one hundred and fifty thousand bits. So guys, I, guys, I'll say this: there were a bunch of pit drops in the middle of the game when we were playing that I didn't get to catch. If you get donated, like, at all to this, I don't want to like, equate everybody, but like I do mean this sincerely. If it weren't for you guys, this wouldn't be happening right now because this is like a massive time sink for <clears> my sister, and it really helps fund things and. We're so excited for the podcast version of this too. And oh, Arc Two is so hard to summarize. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very, it's less straightforward. Yeah, there's a lot of lore. There's a lot of lore. Fifteen thousand. Learn how to count to everybody. <laughs> um, but guys, this is uh, I mean, from all of us, there was there apparently some Discord art too. Um. Discord art. Uh, we will only take art from the Twitter. You have to tweet it to us. Yeah, if you, we'll give you guys a couple minutes here, but we're going to wrap up probably here very quickly. I got to go to bed. Yeah, oh, I'm going to say yeah, ne to next time we'll, we'll, we'll get the art. If anybody sends out artwork, uh, please send it to the Twitter, not Discord, not anything like that. It's it's easier to organize it that way, and Cryptic. also everyone gets to see it as well. So, Cryptid, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Guys, 1,000 bits. Who was the GMO? Heard about your struggle, so everyone hug Monty. Monty gets a hug. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I am. Hmm? Oh yeah, go ahead. No, no, it's okay. Okay, say your piece. No, no, no. I'll talk. We'll talk about it after. All right, guys. Uh, from all of us here at the Unexpectables, thank you so much for attending uh, this another episode, and we'll see you guys next Wednesday at seven o'clock PST, ten o'clock EST, to see how much Greckle sass is Borky. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> And I'm going to click off on OBS.